Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we have some, what do we have tonight? Atari 7800 games. There we go. Very nice. Straight that out a little bit. Very nice. Oh, don't lean on that. There we go. <laughs> Shifts it when it leans on that. Yeah. Welcome everybody Yay. live on Twitch and not live on YouTube. Yeah. But we're going to be playing some 7800 games tonight. Mm -hmm specifically a new pac-man game oh, from excellent. bob de crescenzo it's called pac-man come on pac-man energy drink edition energy drink <laughs> generic energy drink edition. i see we'll get I into see. what that is okay uh and we're gonna be playing Attack of the Petski Robots. I, I didn't know this just before the show. I was chatting with James and he said he hasn't played it yet. And I'm like, I've played it multiple times. <laughs> it's a great game. I talk about you it and play she it plays sometime. it. <laughs> That's right. So that, that'll be fun too. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll finally get to play it a little bit. <laughs> um, but before we get to that, we're going to thank our Twitch subscribers, mm -hmm. of which there are many in mm -hmm. the chat. Yeah, lots of people chatting today. Alan the Fur, Andrew Davey, Armscar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 74, Atari H, Atari Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D, Chelsea Donnie Mao, Charles and Jack, Charles Willen, Chitlin La, Colonel Lama, Dianoy, Dan, if you see Dave M. Dr. Mookow's Great Defender, uh, Ground Trooper, Jew Rapper, Ivy Tower Collections, Johnny WC, Joker, Computer, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lord TDZ, Markianis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Make Soul, Mike Littow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonwood, Miss Fix, Monty Funster, Nathan the Strum, Neo Media, Net, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Quahog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rounded Ghost, Brentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Smoked, uh, Spiceware, Estramares, Teleprompter, D Train, Lost Cartridge, The Welshman, Tiki Dan, KT, Foes, Trek, MD20, 600, X Ken X. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh that is goodness. a lot. What are we up to now? Oh, it's in the mid-60s, I think. Mid-60s. Mid, yeah, 64 subscribers, something like uh, that. Yeah, 64 subscribers. Excellent. Uh, if you want to get your name <clears throat> on the list there, uh, just hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually an option for auto-renewal, I've seen. For Prime auto, auto I don't renewal? know about Prime. I always thought I Prime was the prob Prime. problem because... You um, can't auto-renew? I don't think so. Okay. I think you have to do it every time. Okay. I think they only want to to suck you into paying every month. Paying every yeah. time. <laughs> but That's right. So, uh, I could be wrong. It's, it's Someone free else with out Prime. there might know. It's yeah. free with Prime and not free without it. Yes. Uh, I do have a poll question. Might be a bit controversial. Might be a bit contentious. You don't have to answer um Contentious. Ooh. how much do you spend on video game game items in a year <laughs> or how much do you admit to spending on video game items in a year i would say are your significant others <laughs> watching the stream that's right it so, may not be entirely truthful if that's the case if if you're being held hostage <laughs> blink three times yes. <laughs> <laughs> including everything anything video game uh, consoles funny. upgrades add-ons joysticks uh video games themselves anything per anything. year eh? per mm. year I'm per annum on average i'm on average. a little scared as to what your answer to that is going to be oh it's five <laughs> um uh one zero to a hundred dollars two one hundred to two hundred dollars three two hundred and one to five hundred dollars. Yeah. Four, five hundred and one to a thousand, or five, a thousand and one plus. And one uh, is nos definitely nostalgic five. so is is the driving force behind the spending. <laughs> I I I and I like Carl G. Am I under oath? Um, no, not under oath. You can put whatever you want. You can put whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, I do spend a little bit on gaming too. So it, oh, mine is not zero. Yeah, that's true. Um, you just but bought a, a game recently off, for the, off the Switch. on the Switch and Animal I, Crossing ish. Yeah, yeah, style game. I, I see her. I look over and she's fishing. I'm like. Don't you have Animal Crossing? <laughs> Let's go fish in Animal Crossing. But I like fishing in this game. <laughs> it's a different game. You get different <laughs> prizes from fishing. So Yeah, um, Pac-Man Plus. Anybody who's bought an arcade, it's like, yeah, arcade machine, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, throw money at it. Yeah, but I would not say I'm in 
What are what are the categories? Oh, uh, there. Zero to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 5, 5 to 1,000. I'm probably two. I mean, you buy oh, a lot of two. stuff, so I I use oh, the stuff you I buy. I buy consoles yeah. and, and So, but I do I do have a little bit. I do games, pay a little bit. Yeah. And an upgrading consoles yeah. like a lot yeah. over the years. Well, you do but the show. So obviously that that has some, It all goes to the show. Yeah. You guys to get see, get to see most of that, what the money goes into. Yeah. Controllers alone. Oh, controllers will do it. Get yeah. me halfway there. It's out of control. Mm. Controllers are expensive. Third-party controllers, mm. but I mean they're really nice to play <laughs> with. It, like this year, I I, I bought in television third-party controllers, Atari mm. Fifty Two Hundred third-party party controllers, yeah. like just tons. Uh, analog pocket. Well, yes, you bought one of which those is too. <laughs> so good. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, you've been it, enjoying it. I've a got lot. it plugged into the dock and the TV upstairs. Yes. Yeah. And it's got so many uh, console cores yeah. and arcade cores. It's got a Neo Geo core, which I've been enjoying quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I really haven't put anything. I've just been playing a bunch of Neo Geo shooters and yeah. and Metal Slug as well. Nice. Really fun. I love yeah. those. Yeah. Yep. Yes, it all goes to the show. Yes, That's yes. what's to say. Don't ask me <laughs> last time I did any sort of yeah. show that involved video games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yeah. So Nostalgic bought Analog Pocket and Re uh, Genesis Mini 2. So big bucks. Yeah. So James, that's a five for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I did type it. I did type a five. Mm -hmm. uh, PRGE every year, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's going to kill you. Atari Age Store, which is yeah. coming up soon. Uh, I don't know when, but they'll be releasing it maybe yeah. before Christmas. Yeah. Maybe after Christmas. We'll yeah. see. It also depends on if you have everything that you want. Because if you yeah. have a lot of the old systems and you're playing old systems, then you might not be throwing as much money into yeah. it. It's just I, the odd purchase, right? So. Well, I did buy an Atari 800 XL PAL, fully upgraded recently. <laughs> so, but I do have all the systems I want. It's more about upgrading the systems yeah. with better video output. No. Um, but that one, I, I didn't have a PAL machine and I can only pay it play like a tenth of the games i want to on this one so i it presume was necessary. from a taxes standpoint you can claim some of that so oh yeah 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 but i don't Just make put enough it on to the claim tax return. <laughs> i don't make enough of this show to well, claim it or hardly true. anything so but yes i can't very claim true it. yeah um so let's get to the news um there's a new <laughs> book out by Brian Mather. Mm -hmm. It's the Atari 2600 Homebrew and Hacks Checklist. It's been updated. It's the second edition of it. Covers all the way back to the first Atari 2600 Homebrew, put out in 95, all the way up to this year. Mm -hmm. He just updated it. Uh, helped him a bit with the uh, front cover mm -hmm. to resize it. Um, so if you are really into Homebrew and collect a 2600 homebrew and collect like physical homebrew. Mm -hmm. This is great. It has a full list of every single physical 2600 homebrew that's ever come out. Wow. So you can see what you have, what you're missing, and uh, there you're, you go. So it's available in paperback nice. or PDF. Nice. Um, there's a black and white version as well. Mm. I think this is the color version. I think mm. the black and white's a little bit uh, cheaper. Um, 192 pages. Mm. There's a lot of homebrew out there. Um, yeah, so it's just published yesterday. Mm -hmm. So if you're uh, into collecting physical cartridges for 2600, mm -hmm. this might be for you. Okay. Um, oh, also, um, the Atari Age forums went down last night. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with myself. I, <laughs> I, I wandered outside. There were so many people just standing out there looking just confused, <laughs> of, aimless in their life. I have to say, <laughs> after I got home from work, he was already making dinner. Yeah. Uh, and then we sat down and ate dinner. And I said, oh, are you, you know, what are you up to tonight? Do you have work to do? He's like, the Atari Age forums are down. And I just went, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I guess we're watching TV. <laughs> yeah, so watch TV He was night. just in, in this, this dazed Well, While well, I kept checking and refreshing. Yeah, on his phone. No, no, still not yeah. up yet. No. So they came up at uh, 4 a.m last night oh my goodness I okay that took a long time i think 4 a.m central time texas yeah. time um al posted so they were down yeah. for a little bit um it's because he was trying he upgraded it and there were some add-ons mm. 
that he turned on, but they weren't compatible with the upgraded version, took the whole site down. Mm. So now he's stripped it back to the, just the bare upgrade and he's testing mm. the add-ons, like the extra stuff that provides uh, just extra things for the forums, mm. uh, one by one, getting them back, back up. up. So, so it's still not 100%, but it's no, slowly getting back up. No, and one up. of the things oh, I goodness, use, yeah. and a lot of people use, um, especially if they post a thread in there, is editing really old threads. Mm. Like the first post, like the game uh, shows coming up on zero page. Yeah. I can't update that right now. Oh. So it's kind of locked in stasis. It's, it's locked in. in yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, hopefully he'll be able to solve all that, all that and get things going back up. Because there's a couple things that are... People are just talking about your poll and saying, are you including oh. paying, paying, spending on modern gaming as oh, well yeah, as yeah. retro? Video so all gaming. video gaming. All video yeah. gaming. Yeah, that's what I assumed you meant. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, it could have been retro because yeah. this is a, you know, this isn't even a retro show. This is a new game show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> retro it's, systems. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, all video games. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you your can general, count it any way you want, rough, but I, yeah. I'm saying all video games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ivory Tower Collection. It might be five if I include modern. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Esmeer's uh, ordered uh, his copy of Homebrew and Hacks Checklist. Oh, nice. There you go. I only buy yeah. retro. Mm -hmm. So not new Atari 2600 games? Well, or do you it's, consider it's, that retro? It's retro because it's for a retro system, even though it's yes. a new cartridge. I think most people would consider it I think so. retro gaming. It's, it's in the it's about, category of retro games. It's about the console yeah. rather than the games. Yeah. Like even new games on PS4 could be considered retro gaming because they're in the style of retro gaming. Yeah, I don't know if one does that equate console behind would retro. equate yet or PS5 whatever switch because I buy new games for PlayStation and Switch that are like shooters like the retro look but they're retro blockiness. style yeah. I don't know that's a good question anyway, retro is a very open term it so, is mm. yeah, yeah. What you consider one generation retro two generations is something that has the feel of is retro it 20 retro? years <laughs> maybe i'll do that for the next that, what you, is retro yeah that can be your next uh, ted talk <laughs> that's right <laughs> what is retro tedx talk TEDx. i'd never make it to ted <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody can do a TEDx talk. Yeah. You can you can pitch that for the next Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. What is retro? What is retro? It's Discuss. <laughs> pretty thin premise. Yeah. yeah. I think I'd probably do a, a, a homebrew gaming one if I did anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did do a homebrew gaming one, but mm -hmm. not by myself. It was a panel one. Oh, no, that was nice, actually. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that yeah. was nice to have other people talking yeah. there. Um, okay, that's that's it for news. Let's get to the games. Yay! The first game we're going to be playing is Pac-Man Energy Drink Edition. Uh, it's exciting. a brand new game. Uh, first posted uh, about November 16th, um, but the first um, binaries were posted a couple days ago. This build we're playing is from the fourth 48k game. Okay. It's by Bob DeCrescenzo, who is mm -hmm. Pac-Man Plus in the chat. He is here today to fill us in with anything we don't have information for hi cat <laughs> um so let's read a little bit about what this is all about no no the cats are going crazy no um oh yeah i'll accept yeah so red bull's latest campaign goes retro with pac-man partnership Funny. red bull and bandai namco uh, launched a joint pac-man campaign on thursday this is from uh 2018 november 8th uh, that's fueled by nostalgia and caffeine. <laughs> Is, aren't we all? Yeah. Uh, the partnership includes limited yeah. edition cans, branded mazes, and other collaborations designed for cross promotions. Reads like, not like uh, uh, something that somebody would read to want to play it. Mm -hmm. It's like a marketing uh, release. Uh, from now until May 1st, 2019, consumers can buy specially marked Pac Man cans of Red Bull. Fans can then pop to unlock one of three Red Bull themed mazes inside the Pac-Man mobile game. So it's okay. a mobile game okay. Okay. Um, that you can play. In, and there is also an arcade game made for it too. But primarily, um, primarily handheld like on phones. The codes are hidden under the pop tabs of the, of the cans uh, with three codes to collect in all. Unlocking all the pa Red Bull Pac-Man levels also teaches our yellow friend a new trick for the first time in 40 years. After eating Red Bull cans, Pac-Man can shoot lightning at the ghosts, <laughs> allowing players to defeat them from a distance for the first time in franchise wow. history. Cherries have been replaced with Red Bull letters on each branded letter uh, level. No. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. It, it's a lot of um, marketing, so I'm past that. Um, so uh, in the forums, Pac-Man Plus posted on uh, November 16th, hmm, Zero Page Homebrew asked me if I did all the games in the Pac-Man family ah. that I wanted to do. And I basically said yes, but it seems I forgot one. Ah. Um, and then he uh, posts about the uh, Red Bull Pac-Man game. If I can somehow get my hands on one of these machines, this has a close-up of it all. Uh, I like I like the added features, the non-symmetrical maze, the Red mm. Bull can, etc. Um, I think let's uh, see if we can get Ooh. some shots of this. What? Someone made an arcade machine. Yeah, so it's <gasps> also an arcade machine. Oh, that's cool. So you can see the the different mazes that yeah. they have here. Uh, very unlike any uh, Pac-Man mazes, because it because of the asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. um, See, that's, that's symmetric. That looks very old school. Yeah. Um, so let's go well, back. Well, said you can you can unlock mazes, right? Right. So they might be old yeah, school yeah. mazes. And there's the Red Bull can hopping around there. Might be a bit small for people. Um, and then it gets energized. You can shoot the ghosts. We only shot one, so maybe we'll only get to see one. Oh, I finished the maze. Okay. So uh, he's all mm -hmm. excited about that. We'll scroll down. And Ooh. he started working on that. Yes. Uh, showed the maze. And then, boom. Nice. He got access to all the mazes. You can see Bull, Pac-Man. Nice. I'm sure, it's like red is not there. Just kept the bull. <laughs> wow. And a Pac-Man maze as well. Looking good. Oh, it is one of the mazes. It just looks like a Pac-Man yeah. maze. Uh, those are all the Red Bull mazes, except for the f a few that were slight variations of the monster shape. But the colors of the four monsters and only one or two pieces are uh, different. Are different. Nice. Uh, first time in history. Pack and Pal says otherwise. Yeah. Well, the people promoting it want to. Yeah. Want to it has to it has to have that. Uh, uh, yeah, it's new. It's it's amazing. Guinness it's... World Record kind <laughs> of. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Before we dive into it, let's take a look at the poll before it disappears. So, oh, who, the winner <laughs> at 33.3% is $1,000 nice. or more. Yeah. Yeah. Not surprising. It's a pretty widespread, though. Everyone's, you know, everyone has... hardcore people. Yeah, and yeah. everyone has only so much money they can donate to the cause, right? That's true. So, um, Second place. And with inflation it's being time. Yum, yeah. yum, 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 yum. Oh, oh. It's cat time. <laughs> Um, in second place, uh, 100 to 200, 23 yep. percent, and then tied for third are all the rest, zero to 100, 200 to 500, 500 to 1,000. So it seems like either people buy a lot, or people, or people buy. I can put the book down. Yeah, okay. Or people buy uh, a little bit each year. Oh my gosh, this cat is losing his mind. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Ready? All right, are we doing a competition again? Always. Oh, they're off to the races, one to one. He got to two. Did he? Okay. Yeah. He takes a long time. You're 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 cheating. You're no. giving him the advantage. I didn't mean to. I didn't hear that one. Oh, two to one. For Sprite. Sprite's in the lead. Atari. Two to one. Atari. Thank you, Chelsea Donny Mao, for feeding the cats. Oh. Oh, oh, nobody's wearing it yet. Try it's it two again. to one for Sprite still. Try it Come again. Come on. Come on, cats. Oh, oh. I, I'm gonna give both of them one. Yeah, here. that was hard to tell. Yeah. It's three to two for oh, Sprite. Oh, he's running off. No, oh. Atari. Oh. <laughs> oh, four to two for Sprite. No. Oh, Sprite's a no. vacuum, so. Place your bets, place your bets. <laughs> bets are closed, though. Oh. oh, five to two. Oh, Sprite's really taking an early lead. There five to go. three. No, don't run off. <laughs> Atari. Oh, no. Oh, six to three for Sprite. Oh, oh he just, it's, it's gonna, there's no, there's no competition It's going to dominate yet. today. He like swallows them whole, too. Seven to three. Still trying to think of how this can be turned into a game. Maybe it would be a cat herding to get them near the bell. Yeah. Seven to three. No, Atari. Atari, do it. Good Seven game. Seven to four. Eight to four. <laughs> Oh my God, this is gonna be the worst. Eight oh, okay, you're de redeeming it. Eight to five, nine to five. <laughs> Sprite's We're on it today. Nine to five. <laughs> nine to five, can you, come on, come get on, a Atari. six in there. Do it, Atari. Get a sixth. Nope. 
Try again. Oh, oh no! He finishes off ten to five. Okay, an extra one for you. What consolation a massacre. prize! What a massacre that was. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good showing, Atari. That was not good. No. Good kitties. Go. Good Back kitties up. all around. Yes. Good kitties. Yes. Okay, so let's Ooh, get... Ooh, Chelstoney Mouse says, new rule, you gotta ring your sign bell. Yes, uh, we can try that. They get sad and confused. You know, they don't understand. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we thought about that Sprite before. is young and hungry, got the eye of the time. <laughs> he does. Okay, uh, let's get ready <laughs> to rumble. It's Pac-Man. Energy drink edition. Mm. Oh, let me switch over ours first. So we can see what's going on, too. Yeah, not sure they see the same colors as we do either. So for all we know, those bells could look the same to them. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so Pac-Man Energy Drink Edition 2022, Woo! Bob Decrezenzo. Good job. 1980 to 2022, Bandai Namco's, because nice. it's, it's a new game. Nice. Or is it 2018? Because oh. that's when they put it out. <laughs> but they still hold the copyright. Okay, um, so press the button to go to the menu. Now we can do one or two players, but we'll play one at a time. Um, so you can start on different levels, probably start at the beginning. And yeah. there's also the normal and the speed up option, mm. which is always nice. Okay, I'm going to start with five lives because I always like more lives. <laughs> yes. Bob, are you a Red Bull drinker? <laughs> I think I've had it once. Have you ever had Red I've Bull? Tasted I tasted it. I just... I It has this... I think maybe I, I think I've only had Jolt, which was like the original energy drink, and I, I think hated I've, it. I've sipped it once. I've I don't think I've had any other energy drinks. Uh -huh. It's never appealed to me to to have them. So. All I remember is Jolt tasted like licking a nine volt battery, <laughs> and I was just like, no, no, gross, no, and it. It, it tasted like super, really artificially, like a really artificial flavor. And it was just like buzzy. Mm. Maybe we're all too old for energy drinks. Well, we're the ones who should need the energy drinks, I guess. Yeah, that's true. So let's read a little bit about this game and the differences. Ah. Run! Run from the red guy! Run! I don't know their names! Run! Don't pause! Uh, okay. So, uh... In December 2nd, uh, Bob said, Somebody asked if this is an addition to the 40th collection. No, I actually ripped all of the other code out as I needed space for the non-symmetrical mazes. So this is just Red Bull Pac-Man with TIA sound. What is going on? All kinds of crazy stuff happening. Ah! Oh, should have turned around. Uh, I should have turned around. Did you get a, a I did. I did get a... That well, means it you was can a zap jolt them. or a cola. That means you can zap them. <laughs> no, but it wasn't just by looking getting... At them. Oh, really? Yeah. There's no button or anything. You just look at them and it's absent. No, no I, I, I was trying to go up. I uh, gotta catch it in I time. I have trouble with this controller sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going back up, 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 up. Yeah, I'm having trouble with the controller. Uh, it's very loose. Is it? Yes. Uh, he says, here are my proposed changes that will differentiate this from Red Bull to avoid anything legal. Make the fruit have the same effect as the Red Bull can instead of a specialized fruit. Make the cola can be first fruit as well for obvious reasons. Change the Red Bull maze to say something else. Uh, remove the Red Bull truck found in a few mazes and replace it with something else. I guess it could should be called Energy Drink, drink Pac-Man? Change the player uh, uh, silver instead of the static energy from the Red Bull that surrounds the player. So instead of that uh, circle around the Pac-Man, um, it's a... Um, just changes color. So the, the fruit is very good to get. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're, you're invincible. Even more so on the higher levels. Ooh, not in time. No. Oh, you can pick. Um, note. I noticed in the arcade game, after the player energizes with the Red Bull, here she zaps any monster that is in the same corridor as them. Yes. No matter how far away, providing there isn't a wall between the two. This has been kept, although I replaced the monster sprite with the 250-point indicator uh, instead of the eyes that go back to the monster pen. I like this. The arcade game just made the 250-point indicator go off the side of the screen. Get that strawberry. Get it? Yeah. Get it? Get it? No, get it! Oh, see? No, it's not me. It's this... I'm not joking. This controller has some issues. I didn't have any trouble. No, it really does. Okay, 
question. <laughs> the audio for the game is out of sync. Oh. Or is it out of sync for everyone, or is it fine for some people? Just the game, yeah. But is it in sync for anyone at all? I'm gonna have to revisit the synchronization, I guess. Out of sync. Oh my god, really? So I didn't do anything weird today. Oh, turns oh. It wasn't out of sync at the very start. See, that's annoying. Two second delay from the game graphics matching the audio. It just stopped working. Can you make sure, can you just double check the, uh... What stopped working? I stopped moving. Okay. It is now. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can do anything right now. Oh, How is that? I turned off all the render delays. Blame the cats. Oh, the cats I, I, they fluff up everything. Yeah, we, we, they, they fluff up it up. There we go. Oh, it's good now? Well, that's good, because I just turned off all the render delays. <laughs> And uh, maybe I don't need any of them. Zap. Zap them. Zap them. Now, do you just have to be in the same quarter? Or do you yes. have to be looking at them? Uh, you just have to be in their vicinity, I think. Are you using the power pellet to time it? Yeah, that would be the easiest thing. That fixed it. Oh, that's great. So did that, it seemed synced up when, when she started the next level? Hopefully. Yeah, definitely the fruit is, is, uh... Pretty powerful. Because in the higher le oh wow. So in the higher levels, um... Oh yeah, we're not too facing them. No. In the higher levels, the power pellets only lasts like a second sometimes. Oh god, oh. I didn't mean to do uh, I'm very frustrated Excellent RC70. Mm. Do you need the special control? Yes, please. You need the four-way special control? Yeah, this is bugging me. Okay, I'll get you the four-way. Take it out of the bins. Is, don't you, isn't there a Saturn controller or something in the What controller? The Sega controller or? Well, those still register all these directions. Yeah, but. So that doesn't count because that's going to be the same. Bring out this acrylic <laughs> monster uh, controller. Monster that. joystick. Creaky, creaky thing. With the uh, extension that falls off. What a whiner. <laughs> yep. But I didn't buy it for the four-way. I bought it for the second button and yes, jump. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, you're still fine. Switch it over after. Is that your last leg? Yeah, yep. you can play. Yep, here. No, you're going to play it a tiny bit. I thought you were, we're going to play. And up it, because I got you your special controller. Oh, no, I thought you were going to play a There you go. Okay. Just set it to three lives and put it up to the level that you made it to. Three? Because we want to show off all the levels. Three? Yep. Okay. Nope. Go up to the level that you made it to. Do you remember which one? I think it was just this one. Okay. Now it only goes in 90 degree angles. Uh, on December 3rd, Bob posts the first binary. He says, here's the energy drink Pac-Man, a few notes. The fruit now appears and disappears like the arcade version instead of... Mikeable. Check, check. Uh, instead of coming in out of the side tunnel like in Ms. Pac-Man. I think I still need to have the zap sound when a monster gets zapped by the energized player. As mentioned above, each, each fruit contains this power, a la Pac-Man Plus, instead of specialized fruit. No, it's not the joystick. No, no, it's much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't make mistakes. I'm okay. just saying the joystick was really bugging me. Um, I mean, four-way joysticks are better for four-way yeah. games. 
Um, I left the maze that spelled red as that's just a color. I changed the maze that spelled bull to bob. <laughs> red bob? Red bob? Uh, I removed the red bull truck as it just replaced it with more maze. There are 16 different mazes which repeat the cycle after going through all of them. The player turns white gray after being energized by the fruit instead of having a static halo around it. Also, there's no indicator of the energy wearing off. From what I can tell, there's no indicator in the arcade version either. I have a tiny bit more to read. Okay. Um, are you doing the same maze? We yeah. should show off all the maze. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've already uh, started, so... <laughs> Uh, it is only Pac-Man and is only TIA sound. As I mentioned, this means it can be put on a standard 48k cart. When energized, do not sit directly above the monster pen. You will die. <laughs> I updated later that day, added the zap sound when a monster gets zapped. When moving through the vertical tunnels, the maze now snaps to the opposite side instead of slowly scrolling. This is needed with some of the mazes. Hope you all like it. Uh, this was just a pit stop from my other projects. Still trying to comment the 2600 Stargate disassembly so I can study it for my 7800 Defender port. Once the player turns yellow again, the Energizer is over. Yes. So, but there's no warning, so you have to be very, very careful. Yeah. Uh, player turns white after eating the fruit instead of the red volcan. Any monster in light of sight gets zapped. Yes. So it's a fun uh, little addition. Oh, it's nice, yeah. With the different mazes, and especially the uh, the energizer can or fruit or whatever, adds adds a little bit uh, a little bit different strategy to the game. Uh, Daryl says, very nice, Bob. I, I got to try it out. Notice some of the levels are not symmetrical. Does that mm. require additional treats? Uh, tr tweaks. Tweaks. <laughs> treats for cats? Uh, Pac-Man says, pl uh, thank you and yes. Oh, mm. I missed it. Oh. What did it do? There's a big Pac-Man there on the screen. I was reading. Mm. What happened? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, oh, you were no. reading. Run! Ah. Ah. It's very short now. So you made it to... Oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> some sort of apple-looking level? That the end? That's level You have no... Three. Oh, where's the lives? Oh, does it scroll down? Oh, uh, the lives are at the bottom and you just can't see them. So it's literally the whole board, and the side doesn't stay in a constant spot. These guys are so fast, and this is normal speed! <laughs> I find them really fast. Like, level one is fine, and then level two, it's already fast. <laughs> but so. they are on Red Bull, Red Bull, or energy drink. Yeah. So, makes sense, oh, the, the ghosts are a different. bit... Oh, I don't like this sharp, sharp well, thing. You can flip it around. You can use nope. the other one. Nope. Um, so we'll do five lives. Apple? Apple, normal. Nice. Oh, okay, we just did this, yeah. Oh, like, bottom tunnel is tricky. It's like dead ends in this one. Yeah, I need to see the names of the ghosts are blinky, 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 blinky. Oh, which are which? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, they're so fast. Well, Inky would be blue. Pinky <laughs> would be pink. Uh, yeah. Um, Clyde is orange. Or yellow, I get I Gray. Depends on... Depends on the palette yep. you're using. Uh, and Blinky is red. I always find Blinky the most aggressive. Yeah, so He's angry so, like, and everything. Ah! Yeah, they're super fast. <laughs> oh, they're so fast on this level. I need a zapper. Came just as I died. Oh my god. Yeah, they're super fast. Ooh. Ooh, oh, no! I did press you left, but you not in know. time. You don't know. <sighs> oh, you start in a really obnoxious spot, too. <laughs> you do. <laughs> have to pass the ghosts. Nice. Oh, there we go. He's going to catch himself on the, on the nail. It's a monster. They're not ghosts. The, mo the monster's wearing ghost costumes. Scary. Really? That is scary. Well, this is interesting. Mm-hmm. Lots of side and top to bottom noises. Oh, big part in this one. Not too much, but a lot more than the last one. Oh, and their boxes at the bottom. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Crazy. <laughs> it's all over the place. Wow. Oh, get the apple. Oh. Oh. Uh, it no. disappeared. No, it was just hopping along. I think when you died, it disappeared. Oh, does it disappear when you die? Yeah, it looks like it. That's a pain to get through. Yeah, you definitely want to get that. Yeah. And just go loop, 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 all the way down. So, yeah. I'm gonna get that first. Thank you. Oh, God, no! Gonna make it? Maybe? Yes. Yay! One of those crazy non-symmetrical levels! What are they hiding under there now? Do you want to know? I don't know. A zapper. Oh god. Zapper. I got one. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, what? You can't. Maybe you. He oh, wasn't, wasn't in your in corner. Line. Oh, oh my no. god. So what made was it that to one? pineapple. Let's pineapple? go. Pineapple? Is that what that was? Oh, melon, I guess. Because we didn't see Galaxian. Mm. So let's do speed up. Mm -hmm. Zip through it. it hard on these mazes, the speed up one, because they're so fast. Well, it's hard to time yourself, like, yeah. time your turns when you're moving that fast. Oh, I got the speed. Did it? Or did it win? No, it just weird. That's about nope. it. Yeah, That's I about don't think it. More than that. Oh, look at that thing at the bottom. You have to go from the top? Yep. Hidden. It's kind of like a hidden. Whoa, Whoa. no, get it. There you go. He was coming. Oh, I thought he was coming. It was hard he to was tell. He was about to. No, because he was in a different part of the maze. Ooh. Ooh, can I get all four? No, no. probably not. Where's no, my last? Not. Where's the rest of them? Right down there. Uh, finish Yay! off. Yay! A sign they play too many RPGs if you think that's a hidden area <laughs> to be uncovered. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a... Ooh, goodness. How long? Not long at all. Let's not do that. Then. Who's following? Thank you for following. MPL Live! Thank you Glad for following. Glad you enjoy the content. Yes. And the Pac-Mans! Ah, 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 the ah, pineapple ah, disappeared ah, in, a, in a wall! <laughs> it did? Yes! Went into a wall? Yeah. Ah. So are, is there like pineapple flavored Red Bull? Is that where these uh, flavors oh, I don't are coming from? I don't know anything about Red no. Bull. Ah! I know it tastes like orange. I don't know if they is have it? like fancier ones. Oh, I thought I knew too. Not that it matters. Oh. It's over in a second. You're moving so fast. Galaxian. What is Oh, it's a Galaxian! Watch this. Ah. Oh. All done. <laughs> oh, the 250s are stuck. You just Yay, stay right there. I love there. it when that happens. Stay right there, 250s. Oh, they changed direction. <laughs> Did they? Uh, it is, is in the notes in on the forums that okay. they can get stuck. I love it. Because they get confused, like, their, their rules. And, and it's in the arcade machine, too. So oh. it's... Totally supposed to be a big hunt. That is so funny. Oh my god, there's no time. Yay! Whew. Did Tanya find a bug? No, James well, did. no. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it is a bug. Oh, he's stitched oh, up. Oh, he's stitched up. He's all better. That's what, he, that's what they look like, the monsters. Crazy, huh? <laughs> They're like little things. Where's the monster house? Oh, it's up there. Oh, yeah. Get it. You could have gotten the... I'm trying to not to die. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought you were going to get the power died. pellet so you could get oh, to it. No. I was like, why are you getting the power pellet? <laughs> oh, that's time. Yay, time to eat ghosts. Oh. All back four around. of them. Nice. Oh, there's a pellet down at the end of a dead end. Interesting. Mm -hmm. From the top. Very interesting. Nope, there's a guy coming out of it. No way. Nope. Get there. Top left. Okay. Bloop. Crazy mazes. Yeah. Like, really crazy. 
Galaxian flavor, maybe. <laughs> Galaxian flavor. Galaxian flavor. Mmm, tastes like what space. What is this? Gumdrop? What is this one? <laughs> Red. Red? Oh, the actual thing? It's a bell. Oh, it's a bell. Okay. Oof, no time on this one. I want the bell. Zap. 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 I zap. do like the zapping. That is really awesome. There you oh, go. Oh, Hard to know. It, it really, what? yeah, what, where you're going to end up. <laughs> That's a bit of a. Well, Darn, thought I, it was a jello mold. It's like there. <laughs> it does look like a jello you mold. Don't, because you don't see the full screen, this one's a bit of an issue. Because you yeah. can't see if there's a ghost at the other end. I think you have to be a kid from the 70s or 80s to know what a jello mold even is. <laughs> It's true. Like, you don't. People don't do that anymore. Molds. They don't do it. Ah, ah run away! Uh, let's do this. Yay! So much easier in fast mode. <laughs> yeah. Bob! Bob! It's the Bob level. Nice. So fun. It is fun. I really like that. Oh my god, Whoa. that was an accidental move that saved me. Give me the bell. No! Ah. Give me the bell, it's gonna... No. Oh, it's gone! <laughs> what are the rules it for how long it's on the screen? Is it just... It randomly appears in a spot, and then it has a timeout? It's like, oh, it's only on the screen for X mm. seconds. James and his spawn camping. <laughs> yeah! Part of the game. Seems I can like a do pretty it. good deal. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh. I... it's so fast. I tried to go up. With that key. This is the last uh, last level. I don't know about the last maze, but it's the last thing. I think there's two keys. Oh, secret hideout. No point in even getting them. No, it's, unless <laughs> it's they're so right fun. beside you, or yes, you're the fruit is timed, yeah. or you're an expert player. Yeah. Is this the same cutscene? Is it different? It's the same cutscene. <laughs> Cute. Oh, it's a different maze. This is a Pac-Man maze. It's on the second key. Am I gonna have time on this one? The arcade just has the red bull can just appear and disappear, so I do the same with the fruit. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Level. That's awesome. Yeah, that's it cute. looks really good. It does. Yeah. It doesn't last for no maze. Oh god. No! Ah, trapped. There's no uh Kitty? there's no passages on this one. Mm. Yeah. Oof. Good job, good job. And then I think this might be the last level. Okay. Last design. It's just a normal. No, what is the... It's another key? Or? Oh, yeah, third key. No, oh yeah, third key. Oh my god. Yeah, key, no. please. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh no, no, he disappeared. <laughs> oh, no. That was me. Ah. Oh god. Oh Go! Damn it, I missed it. Missed the escape. Well, I've never heard about this edition. Mm. Never seen it. This is like in the forum was the first time I've ever heard about it. Oh, we haven't seen this. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is the man boss. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is mine. No. Oh, he's got. Do you only get 
get one per level, one fruit. Uh, kind of. Oh, I ran <laughs> Fourth key level. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I swear. No. Well, this is a new life. So yeah, one for life. Kind of looks I like don't it. know. I haven't seen you get it more than once. Oh, he's caught again. Stuck. Ha ha. Tinky, having a bad day. <laughs> Confusing day. <laughs> You're not gross. Why are you wearing sheets? <laughs> what? 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 It didn't even work. <gasps> that power pellet didn't work at all. It was very short. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> what was that? Oh no! Split second. Is that a power pellet uh... never registered? Is that a bug or is that like they don't turn blue anymore? <laughs> At the fourth key. Oh, it. Oh, okay. I'm not an expert Pac-Man player. Pac-Man plus second. <laughs> one millisecond. <laughs> you have to be exactly right beside you. Mm. That is a nice. Oh. Ooh. Cats, cats, cats. Where's the rest of the tune? I don't know. Party time for kittens. Party time for kittens. Hey. I'm going to get rid of this. Let's switch over to the cat cam. Boom, boom. Woohoo. Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. <laughs> <laughs> that was delayed. That very delayed. My God, what the hell is that? Oh well, it got there in the end. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of catnip. No, it's not. No. No, it's not that much. <laughs> uh, slightly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It took a little while. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> the level after that one are two seconds. Then after that, they're no longer turn blue for all the rest of the games. Oh, oh really? Time okay. Time to get high with cats. Yeah. Is that your Red Bull kittens? Is That's that your energy drink? Kind of the they opposite. Trying to get all lazy and is that you done? Well, they get it energetic and then they get lazy. So there's <laughs> sort of oh what you're not gonna have more? Says I I'm okay. Oh really? That's it. So what way too doing? much for that cat. No way no you go have much. some more. Go have some more. Go have some more. There so. you go. There he's back now. We are going to be playing Attack of the Petsky Woo! Robots next. Um, we have done, so if you want to learn a lot more about this, mm -hmm. definitely check out the three interviews we've done with mm -hmm. the developers. Um, Mike Sarna is in the chat, Revenge. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've also talked with MK Smith, Matt Smith, um, at PRGE when we first did the, uh, world debut of the game in 2021. Um, and we talk with Matt Smith at PRGE, and we talk with Mike Sarna on Atari Age Day, which was just like mm, a couple weeks ago, a month ago, ago. I yeah. don't know, something like that. So um, this was first post about, posted about November 11th, 2021 on the 8-Bit Guy channel, announcing that there was a 7800 version of it. Um, this is the retail build from PRGE, mm -hmm. October 15th. Um, so if you're lucky enough to make it down to PRGE, you can, could get a copy. Yeah. Um, it'll be in the store soon. Excellent. Ish. Um, yeah. So let's just take a little bit of a look at some background on this. Just a little dive into it so you can see where it came from. Yes, Pac-Man Plus. Awesome. Awesome. I advise using the keypad in controller port mm. two and the joystick in port one. Yeah, we should get that out and uh, check out the different control methods. So we'll get the keyboard controller for port two. Mm. Guys, I'll plug that in right now because we don't really need anything else. Now, I highly suggest we go over the controls again. Yes. Um, because that was There's something ways before Atari it. Age Day. I think I went over that and played it a little bit just yeah. so that I had the controls down. I do not remember them anymore. That's so um, we'll go over them. It's probably a good idea to do that. Yeah. Because there's quite a quite a lot of functions you need to manage playing this game. Oh, here, here. And, and Atari left. Oh my goodness. What He's is gone. going on? He's gone. Uh, so let's take a look at 
the original version of this, which is made for the Commodore Ooh, This is the title screen? Yeah, we'll mute David Murray there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is uh, the pet version of it. And uh, we'll take a look at what Petsky graphics, where the Petsky in Attack of the Petsky Robots comes from. Um, but it's basically characters that are built into the system that you can use to put on the screen, you know, just like text. Mm. Um, but you can make uh, little graphics with it. You I've... can see that's the little guy, and there's some at symbols for the trees there. And, and he's he's apparently walking in semaphore bloop, 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 as he's, he's going. Got flags. <laughs> Say, warning, robots <laughs> everywhere. Skirt, yeah. Robots are everywhere. <laughs> um, so the Commodore PET is a line of personal computers starting in 1977 by Commodore International. The single all-in-one case combines the MOS technology 6502, my favorite chip, <laughs> um, uh, microprocessor, Commodore BASIC in read-only memory, keyboard, monochrome monitor, and in early models, a cassette deck. Mm. Um, so there's a sample of the game there. And, and it's a playoff of... Oh, there's the Commodore pet right there. And what are you doing, cat? He's getting high. And it's a playoff of Attack of the Pesky Robots, but it's changed to Petsky. That's oh, a, a play on is words, that right? where... Okay, now that makes sense. But it's using Petsky graphics, yes, right? Yes, Pesky, Petsky. Oh, good night, Daryl. Petsky 7800 is a masterpiece. Yes, it, it is. is. Fantastic. Um, so that is what the original one looks like. Yeah. Let's just take a look at the character set. Anybody who's had a Commodore 64 growing up is very, very familiar <gasps> with the Pets, uh, Petsky graphics set. Yes. So you can see that it has all the um, ABC, yes. you know, the alphabet, the numbers. The and normal the, things, you know, dollar the, sign. The keyboard had those extra... Below it. Below it, too, I remember. Yeah. On, the, on the, I remember um, that vividly. C64 is there, but yeah. everybody knows what yeah. it looks like. And it had extra graphics that you could put in. It, yeah. it had a very full set of them, actually. Yeah. Good night, um, Bob. I think Bob's heading. Oh, good night, Bob. Thanks yeah. for uh, uh, hanging out with us and yeah. adding some more information in the chat. Yeah. Awesome version of Pac-Man. Um, yeah. <laughs> glad you're able to check one more off the list. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Yep. Uh, Commander X16 keyboards are available. I don't know. Mm. I haven't. Uh, he hasn't talked about that in a little while. I think he did an update on his channel, um, David Murray, a little while about the Commander X16. Um, Here's the cat unshifted keyboard, mm. or shifted. All the letters are capital. Mm. But you can see all the really cool characters that you can use. And I remember using those characters for various things when I was making um, C64 games. Yes. Because you could draw just about anything in kind of rough yeah. uh, format. Form. It's got the building blocks for drawing big squares it has mm -hmm. diagonals it's got joints where like a t up down left right um it's got curves as well that curve to center to center pieces mm -hmm. um l's it's got little horsey characters which is <laughs> which is a pie actually but it looks like a horse so is people it, pie? Pe it is it's supposed to be pie but mm -hmm. people used it as horses in games because it looks like a horse. It does look like a horse. That's pretty cute. And it's got, of course, the hearts, the diamonds, the clubs, and yeah. the spades. So you yeah. can make card games as well. Mm -hmm. They were really, really smart about which ones they chose. Yeah. And the slashes back and forth. So if you just filled the screen with the slashes, it made a maze mm. on the screen, which is kind of cool. Um, so um, let's go over to... Atari's version of it. So Atari had Ataski. Ataski. Okay. Um, which had kind of similar fairly ones. Fairly similar. Yeah. I don't know if it has quite as many. No, it doesn't look like it does. No, but it had a, a fairly robust set of them. Yep. Um, it doesn't look like it had none the of the diagonals. textures as well, like the, the spotted are. textures that that uh, yes. the C sixty four had. So you didn't have the shading. Yeah, like, like the, the like on the upper level there. That shading. That shading. That left right shading. Yeah. yeah. But it had a pretty decent uh, set of them. It had the hearts mm. and the clubs. It 
doesn't have the diamonds. Does it have a diamond? Yeah, it does. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and that white, just two from the bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And it's got, oh, it's got those left and right. I don't think uh, the C64 had left and right. Nope. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. So a mm. little bit different. So uh, similar, similar set there. Um, so let's take a look at the Atari 8-bit version okay. of Attack of the Petsky Robots. Uh, let's make this bigger so it fills the screen. Because there is one. Actually, we could probably keep the music on for this one. There we go. Very nice. Um, so this this actually used um, Atats Ataski mm. <laughs> characters for this one, um, plus plus graphics laid over top for okay. the for the for the guy. For the guy, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. And a uh, custom font set at the bottom mm. there as well. Um, so a Tasky character set from the Atari Standard Code for Inter Informational Interchange. Alternatively, Atari ASCII is the variation of ASCII used in the Atari 8-bit family of home computers. The first of this family are the Atari 400 and 800, released in 1979, and later models released through the 1980s. The last computer to use the Atasky character set is the Atari XEGS, which was released in 1987, discontinued mm -hmm. continued in 1992. The Atari ST family of computers used a different Atari ST character set. So this is what, um, so you can see some pound symbols, yeah. and various different character sets. I think this is a modified Atasky because yeah. there's things that like that aren't in it. Aren't and, in it. Yeah, like the and textures, was, right there. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's made more to look like Petsky. It mm. had the full set of Petsky, so mm. they could replicate the graphics exactly mm. over. Yeah. Um, uh, by the way, there's a color enhanced version available for Atari 8-bit, but is lower resolution. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, would, it be, would this be subject to some artifacting on a CRT? Mm, yes, I bet it would, which would make it... I don't know if... Mm, I don't know if they plan for artifacting or not. Oh, it goes all red. Uh, okay, so let's pause that and soldier on. The next thing, which is the different versions of uh, Attack of the... Actually, this is the... Yeah, different versions of Attack of the Pesky Robots. Petsky. <laughs> uh, there we go. So there is ones that have been released. Uh, Sega Genesis version. Uh, Amiga. Uh, uh, ZX Spectrum. Uh, Sony PSP. Commodore 128. Commodore Plus 4. Uh, Commodore 64, mm. VIC-20 Pets, uh, C64REU, not sure what that means, and uh, Petsky Robots for the Atari, which was not renamed Atasky, <laughs> because it kind of is the Petsky yeah, it is character style. set. Yeah, Yeah. Um, so but this runs on Atari 800 and up, and it says it was uh, tested on 800, 800XL, 1200XL, 130XE, and XEGS. I'm mm -hmm. sure it runs on the 600XL. Uh, it's more about memory, I'm sure. So you can buy it, uh, get a digital download version of it. Mm. Um, so you can make your own discs or run it on an emulator or run it on a uh, SD cart. Um, a Tasky of the Petsky yeah. robots. <laughs> Clever. Good one, that's, Metal Lunar. That's the first time I've actually <laughs> seen that. That's really good. They could have done that. Yeah. Um, and you can get a whole bunch of different ones. An autograph box, standard box. That's pretty good. An autograph box for forty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and this uses us uh, the seventy-eight hundred version that we're going to be playing. Yep. Uses a special adapter so that you can use SNES controllers. controllers, which we have talked about in the past. Mm -hmm. We did it on uh, the Atari HD. Yep. So it's a DB9 to to uh, SNES. Mm -hmm. oh, this is too tiny. Still pretty tiny. But anyway, there you go. Yeah, you can see it. An adapter so you can use the SNES controller. Which is very nice. Yep. So we will uh, use that scheme first to show you. Um, so here is the um, schematics for it. Looks very, very simple to make. 
Um, you just need, um, this one uses a different circuit board than this, but this one looks like it's easier to wire up, mm -hmm. the one they're showing. Uh, this one's all soldered, uh, very nice yeah. and compact. Um, this one where you'd have a bunch of exposed wires and then you'd have to shrink wrap it, but it looks very straightforward, mm -hmm. right? Um, just uh, ground, data, latch, clock, and five volts. And they have provided the uh, machine code, assembly code, for reading information from the SNES controller for all the buttons. Um, and this would work in uh, 2600, 7800, mm -hmm. and 8-bit. So people can now code games for an alternate control scheme for SNES controllers for any game oh. on 2600, 7800, or 8-bit family. That's pretty cool. I would highly recommend they make a normal control scheme for yeah. people because First. not everybody has this <laughs> and that as well. Yeah. So I would, I would definitely make sure you have both covered, mm -hmm. which this game does have both covered. So you don't have to have this. Um, you don't have to have an SNS controller. You can use it on a normal two button 7800 mm -hmm. controller, which everybody would have for the 7800. Is there an ANSI version? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, is there a DOS? Was there, there was no DOS version posted, was there? No, there wasn't. Um, so maybe not. It would still be called the same thing. Um, so if you want to uh, make games with uh, this adapter, yes, please go for it. Make some awesome complex games with lots of buttons. Mm -hmm. Fighting games, I don't know. Why not? Fighting games would be perfect. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a perfect uh, yeah. use of it. Or uh, RPGs, things with lots of controls. Yes. Lots of different weapons. Where you want to flip, flip weapons. or yep, yep. just like this game, like uh, opening doors or uh, fighting, attacking, yep. pushing, pulling, like in this mm. game. Um, so... So, I think we are ready to fire it up. Yes, let's do it. So, we're going to be using the SNES controller to start off with. And then we will be taking a look at other control schemes. This little cat had a one. couple of bites of catnip and he's <laughs> fast asleep now. All gone to sleep. Oh, you're so warm. <laughs> he's so sleepy. Such a cute cat. That's a very tight fit. This, uh, oh, the um, plug? Ugh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the cartridge. Cartridge, yeah. Yeah, I think we noticed that when we were playing it at uh, Attack at of the age. Coach, page 437, robots. <laughs> oh, the geeky joke. <laughs> oh. I did not switch that over. There we go. And I need to change the cartridge. Boom. Pro System Bot OS 3.14159, human presence detected. Nice. Booting Petsky robots. There we go. Starting? Do you want me to read the controls? Um, I'll let you play. Me? You I don't know how played. to play. I don't, but I need to know the controls anyway, so. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to it. Easy, standard Definitely controls. easy. Definitely, we'll uh, go through those. Go through standard. Twin Pro line. Oh no, no, it's this again. I think I can do it. <sighs> I think it's standard it is standard controls. Okay. Yeah, because if you navigate away from it, then you <laughs> you're, can't you're switch toast. it. You're toast. You have to go to the. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we can do yeah the first map, right? Yeah, I just uh, will need to figure it out. Select button. Oh yes, yes. Oh, it's it's got a weird control scheme, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll I'll read it out to you. Okay. Now this, do not listen to this if you don't already have Attack of the Petsky Robots for the 7800, because these controls that I'm going to tell Tanya, oh, we're going to change, are temporary for the early versions. They will yeah. be fixed on later versions. This yeah. is the things I'm telling her do not match the manual, and will not match your version. Yeah. <laughs> so please ignore everything I'm about to say. Yes, it is an original SNES control. Oh yeah, you bet. Okay, to activate the search and move cursors while playing, you have to press and hold select buttons by pre and press left one or right one to initiate a search or move. Left one? No, this. Oh, that's, yes, yes, that's right. 
So that's search. And then you, then you move it. Yeah, I found a pistol. Woo! And the other things move. Once then... you found the plasma gun, you can use the right one button to toggle between the pistol and plasma gun. So that'll switch weapons. Just on its own. Once you've found other items to use in the game, like the Magna DMP, you use the left one button to cycle That's between right. items. That's right. And um, shoot is the... To use the actual item, you have to press and hold the select button and press start. Select and start, but I have no items. Yeah, you have no items. Yeah. So once the items, you press both of them to yeah, use the items. Makes sense. Uh, normal direction control of your character is done using the D-pad, uh, while the buttons A, X, Y, B are used to fire your currently selected weapon in the direction. So that's direction of shooting. Direction of shooting. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is all coming back to And me. thank you for uh, to Jesse from Ivory Tower Collections for writing that up for the people who have the early version of Attack the Pesky Robots. And it is already fixed. Okay, Micah already fixed it. I wonder how many mines were blown by this at PRG. Many, many mines. Yes. Very good to shoot that guy from oh, behind the fence. Uh, you want to do everything from behind the fence. Oh, you see those banners? They yep. were the horses. Go up to the banners. <laughs> Hi, horsies. <laughs> they look more like pie uh, characters there. Uh, okay, good. Let's get to the manual, which we didn't get to read uh, during Atari Age Day. No, that's true. Yeah. So, welcome. The original attack, uh, and is uh, Mike Sarna still in the chat? Uh, Revenge still there? Uh, map screen is only possible with the pause button on this control method with this earlier version. Oh, Revenge is still here. So, we can go to the map. Mm. That's where you are, the black dot? Yeah. Nice. If we need the map. I, I can see not needing map very often. No. Unless you're really lost or if you want to see where the robots are, I guess. Uh welcome. The original attack of the Petsky robots. Oh, you brought a little stuffy. Okay, did everyone see that? That was adorable. No, yeah, I think it was off camera. Yeah. You brought this little stuffy. Hi, is this yours? Yeah. That's not very far. I wanted people to see it on camera. Yeah. Are you going to use it as a kick toy? Maybe. The original Attack of the Petsky Robots game was conceived around April of 2020 after I've gift. Oh, this is from David Murray. After I was gifted a mini pet by the f by the future was 8-bit, which I did an extensive review on my channel. I was excited about the home-built computer and thought I should design a game for the Commodore Pet. I created two successful games already, Planet X2 for the Commodore 64 and a follow-up, Planet X3 for MS-DOS. In both cases, I, I, uh, wanted to, I wanted a game that had the most important feature. Fun! I don't care how fancy a game's graphics and animation are, what kind of music it has. If it isn't fun, people, uh, if it isn't fun, then it isn't worth playing. That is 100% correct, David. Yes. And, um, let me turn down the music a little bit. And that's what we say on this show all the time about games. It doesn't matter if it's two blocks on the screen uh, or the best graphics in the world. Um, it's all about fun. And we've played some really basic graphics and sound games, like just two blocks, literally almost two blocks on the screen. Mm. And they're amazing. And, and of course, I've played games on very advanced systems, computers computers or PlayStation or Switch and it's like eh, this is not very fun um, and so it really doesn't matter it's it's all about fun um, I also wanted a game that would allow people to immerse themselves in a world for 30 minutes or so I didn't want to create an arcade style game that somebody would play for five minutes and say well that was cool but I'm done now also didn't want to create a game that takes months to win like Ultima in this day and age nobody has time for that <laughs> Since the original release on the Commodore Pet, C64, and VIC-20, Attack of the Petsky Robots has now been ported to around 20 other vintage platforms and consoles, now including the Atari 7800. Mm. Uh, this version brings many firsts to the 7800, including a new cartridge format for the expanded graphics support, enhanced high-color graphics, and SNES controller support. It also includes a fantastic pokey soundtrack by Noel Aman. Overall, it may well be the, the most advanced game ever to be released on the Atari 7800. 7800, I hope you enjoy playing it. It's it's up there. It it's, is. It's got a lot going for it. 
really amazing graphics, amazing sound, uh, rich gameplay. It's it's amazing. By the way, should you try pressing the select button while playing? It pulls up an option screen. Did you do that? No, it's on the console. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, kittens. Oh, there we go. Maybe turn down the music so we can hear the sound effects. Oh, I see. Turn down the music. There you go. That's good. Oh, Bruce? Oh, that's way too low. Up a bit. So you can change the uh, the look from uh, David nice. Murray to Mike Sarna to... Oh! Oh! No, I... To Bruce. <laughs> I already flipped through them. Okay. I, I was trying to get out of it. That's okay. okay. It's flipping to David. Uh... How to play. Sometime in the future, robots attempt to take over human settlements uh, on various planets. Your goal is to infiltrate these settlements and destroy all the robots. To do this, you need to locate weapons and other tools. Uh, when can you exit the map? There's a transporter room in every settlement. However, to prevent unauthorized robots from leaving the area, the transporter systems have been remotely programmed to not activate until all the robots have been destroyed. Once you have destroyed all the robots, you will see a transporter pad active. Activate. Then you can step on it to complete the map. So you have to kill all the robots in the map. Yes. That is the goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Music's getting me pumped, Chitlet Lass says. Um, Ivory Tower Collection says, I usually like to play as Bruce. Oh. And of course we've got the beautiful um, Doom guy in the top oh, yeah. right, which is a great fun addition. Oh, you've got a bomb now. Twenty-four of them. You gonna use that bomb? I have twenty-four. I guess I could. Yeah, well, you got to kill all the robots. Ah! Well, might kill him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Destruction. Uh, brains or bronze? At first glance, Attack of the Petsky Robots might look like an action shooter game. Oh. However, it's really not. Think of it more of a strategy and exploration game. While you're given weapons to fight with, you will never win if you try to fight the robots head on in battle. Checking the toilets? I always <laughs> check the toilets. <laughs> no. Yep. It's like Fallout. <laughs> How big is the ROM? I don't know. That is a good question. I have a big question mark there. Um, Revenge would be able to answer that. Um, I'm sure they've said it on one of the streams or interviews. Um, the Inquisitive Mind. Uh, the way to victory is by examining each robot situation as strategy. In most cases, there will be a way to defeat every robot without engaging them in head-to-head -head battle. Mm -hmm. The trick is to learn to find all the right tools and learning how to use them. It's 256k, Revenge says. I should actually write that in so that I have it in later information. Blocked. So you can trap the robots in rooms yeah. too, or out of rooms as well, if they're messing with you. <laughs> uh, by following this manual, you'll be properly prepared. 128 code plus 128k graphics. Lots of graphics. Get all the stuff. Time bomb! Uh, searching for items. One, one of the first things you'll need to do when you start playing is to search for items. This is accomplished by walking up to the item you wish to, wish to search and activate the search feature with your controller. When you do this, a chasing cursor will appear over your character. At this point, the game is waiting for you to select a direction up, down, left, or right to search. Some items are not searchable. If you attempt to search a wall or the floor, for example, the message that found nothing here will be displayed immediately. If you search an item that is considered searchable, you will see a delay and a progress indicator in the information box showing that a search is in progress, followed by a message stating what, if anything, was, was found there. Mm -hmm. And Tanya knows all about searching yes, items I do. from Impossible Mission. Correct. Uh, and that is definitely an influence on this mm -hmm. with the searching dot dot dot. Oh, just shot something. I just shot through the Okay. That's a way to shoot something. Yeah, I was and just checking And be protected. On it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Did you find extra bullets, or is that how much they came with? I found it. I found oh. another one, yeah. 
There are types of things you can search. Most items are hidden inside of crates, therefore crates should always be searched. Once a crate is searched, it will appear, it will appear with the lid off, thus indicating you've already searched it. Some items are more than one tile in size, such as beds, desks, and air conditioners. It's not necessary to search every tile. If you search one tile of the item, the hidden item will be found regardless of which part of it you searched first. So, power transformers, servers, crates, air conditioners, cabinets, beds, desks, and benches. How much code does the pet version have? Good question. I'm sure that's somewhere. No, ah. no those aren't angry bots. I know, he scared me. <laughs> so, I don't think... Can you search those chairs or just kind of desks? No, I don't think I don't think chairs. it didn't literally list. You can move them. Okay. Throw them in the water! <laughs> Throw it in the water. <laughs> Uh, weapons and items. Oh, oh, what? He can go through a chair? He's dead. No, he wasn't. Oh, no. He did hurt me. How? <gasps> I didn't know he could go through a chair, but I guess that makes sense. Chairs aren't that hard to get past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. Roly The other chairs cat. they couldn't do, but that's ah. okay. Weapons and items. Once you've started finding weapons items, it's probably a good uh, good idea to learn what each one does. Mm -hmm. So you have the pistol right now. Or is that I have the pistol. pistol. Yeah. One of two uh, weapons available. This is the most abundant one you'll find around the maps with the most ammo. It does exactly one point of damage to anything you shoot. Thus, it takes ten shots to kill a hoverbot. Yeah. The weakest of the robots. Uh, when using this weapon, it's best to seek cover and fire behind a weapon, an item that will separate you from the robot. For example, shooting over a desk or through a window. The pistol will also set off canisters if you shoot one, thus making a powerful explosion with a single mm -hmm. shot. Uh, they don't get blocked by deck chairs, uh, so they just climb over because they're hoverbots. They, they can, are hoverbots. They can hover over the, the, the Not short... standard chairs, though. No, they're way too tall. Defeater of robots, standard yeah, chairs. Yeah, standard chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the robot uprising always have a fold-out chair ready. Maybe a fold-out chair won't work because they're kind of deck chairs. Well, if they're set up properly, yeah, you can probably confound them. <clears throat> Plasma gun, which I um, haven't found yet. This is the more powerful of the two available weapons. It creates 11 points of damage, so it will kill those in one shot. And blast five tiles wide. Wow. Thus it will damage your target and anything near it as well. Be careful with this weapon as easy to kill yourself if you're too close uh, to what you're shooting. It's probably best to conserve your ammo with this weapon for the roller bots and evil bots. So don't use it on those unless you have tons of ammo, I guess. Yeah. I do think it might be in the same location every time. The stuff? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm noticing some similar things from the last time I played. Yeah. yeah. It's not like Impossible Mission, where things are randomized. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to search everything. Uh, Ivory Tower Collection says, I just time bomb each of them. <laughs> well, you do have 47 bombs, which is way more than... Uh, so you can do that one. Run. I want to see it blow up. There we go. Up, up. Oh, it doesn't go through walls. Good. Does it block you? No. This does, yeah. It has to the disappear. dead robot? Yeah, it has oh, to disappear, okay. though. It will disappear. There we go. Uh, EMP, the electro electromagnetic pulse generator, will force any robots within your viewable area to reboot, causing them to freeze for several seconds. During this time, you can make your escape or attack. Use these sparingly and save them for hard-to-kill robots. Uh, also, if you use your MP while a hoverbot is hovering over water, it will fall into the water mm -hmm. and short-circuit. Thus, the EMP can be used to kill a hoverbot by itself when used correctly. Mm. Medkit, you are damaged a tiny bit, so uh, not yet. I'll hold on to it for yeah. a little bit longer. You're only damaged a tiny bit. A randomized variant of this game could be interesting, though. Almost like a roguelike. Yeah, that would be a good... Um, a good variation. I mean, it's not impossible to make new maps. Like, you can make an extended version of this game with all new maps and a randomization um, option. That'd be a, a cool, cool addition. Part two. 
Uh, uh, Ivory Tower Collection says, I saw a video where someone managed to get an evil bot over water and kill it with an EMP. Not too many options where that is possible to do, but it was pretty cool. Oh. Is that close enough? No. No. Also, you have to time it, too. Oh, you did it! I got him, but I wanted to get two at once. Oh. This guy's way too far away now. Mm. That's okay. Time bomb, which you've been using. Uh, when you use the time bomb, I don't know why that's in quotes, a cursor will appear over your character, indicating it is waiting for a direction to be selected. Mm -hmm. Once you pick a direction, you will see the bomb next to you. It is best to run at this point. Within a few seconds, the bomb will explode and create a blast five tiles wide. Total five? Yeah. Uh, the blast will inflict 11 points of damage on anything it contacts, hence why you're killing those with one shot. Um, it, this can be used on robots that are generally staying in one place, or can be used in cases where you need to blow up something blocking your path. Or even set off a chain reaction of canisters. Have you seen any canisters yet? Mm, no, yet. I've seen them on... I, I think there are more on other levels, if mm. I'm not mistaken. Uh, pro tip. Uh, you may use more than one time bomb at a time. You can place them on different tiles or on top of each other. Oh, weird. How would you want to do it on top of each other? It is possible to deploy four at once, but you better be quick. Yeah. Uh, ITC says there are canisters on this level. Mm. Horses on the wall! <laughs> He's got a long way to go. There's this guy down here, too. He's, a, bad, oh, he's, he's a, a baddie. Oh, don't go in there. No. That one is... Wacky, inflatable, flailing arm uh. tube man. Uh, that's an evil bot. No, he's really bad. Yeah. This is the most powerful robot you too. will encounter. Ah. The evil robot shreds you apart with his spinning arms. He may seem disadvantaged compared to the other robots because he cannot hover and he has no projectile weapons. Ah. However, what Damn makes it. him so... <laughs> Dangerous is his attack, which causes six points of damage on contact. So taking two hits from Evil Bot will kill you. This can happen very quickly. An Evil Bot will chase you the moment you release him from whatever room he's in hiding in. And he's fast, too. Evil Bot also has very thick armor. He has 75 health points and thus could take over seven explosions to kill him. So you probably want to kill him in that trash compactor there. Oh! That's what that's there for. It's a trash compactor. Yeah. So you have to... So, let's read about the other robots. I uh, saw the roller bot. This is a bit Ooh, more powerful. What'd you find? That's my gun. Ooh, better gun. So you'll be able to shoot the EMP those. device, very nice. Oh, that you can disable yeah. the evil robots. And then you and just then shoot them. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Or shoot lay them a bunch of bombs. Bomb. But those only do 11, and this guy's got 75, so that, that's not going to work. Plasma guns? Plasma only does 11, yeah. So I'd need to hit him seven times? Yeah. But if he's disabled long enough with the EMP, that'll work. I have 60. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you could do it, depending how many there are. Oh! Oh! Oh, it was for, people are getting confused. Later was for him to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody says good night. Somebody else says good night to them. Then other people yeah. think they're going away too. <laughs> That's that funny. We'll block the Text confusion. Shots. So what oh. is this? Um, let's see what that is. Let's see if it's got some information about stuff. Is that a canister? Uh, can you move it? Move this first, I think. Yeah, you would. Oh. Oh, sorry. There you go. Now you have to get it beside it. Or no, now yeah, you have the space to move it. I do. So you can't move it on top of yourself, right? There you go. What is it? Uh, don't know. Does, Does it have... explode? Ah. Uh, it might actually. Yeah. It. Oh. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's a canister. These chemical canisters are located all around the map. You can move them around, and they're safe to touch. But they will explode if you shoot them. What about if that, that bot shoots them? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, if you put it right next to him, mm. while he's away, and you're in the way, he'll shoot it and explode. 
which would be very good. But you have to do it while he's away. Or you can put something else in his way and then move that thing out of the way. You can move that box. Uh, that's... Move that box in his way. Still dangerous because he shoots you. Um, they will also explode. They will also explode if they are nearby and another exploding item, or or they can be shot by the roller bot. These can be strategically placed where you need them and thus like a weapon. Once a canister explodes, it will leave a mangled, explode, exploded canister on the map. You can't do anything with it, but you can move it around and use it to block pathways. So you can you can move it after it does explode too. Med kit, which you did find, uh, can be used to heal your injuries. When you use the med kit, it will heal all 12 health points. Oh. Assuming you have that much available in your med kit supplies. If not, it will heal as much as you have available. If you have more than enough, the remainder of the med kit will remain in inventory for future use. So it's not a bad thing to use the med kit. It only uses as much as you need yeah. and stores it. Can we use a chair? Yeah, it works well. The box will block him, but not stop his shots. Okay. Mm the large thing with legs is the science equipment that can uh, block the roller bot shots. Oh no. Oh no, I can't. No, it's stuck there forever. Uh... <laughs> oh no, it's not. Uh, well, you can move it in and then go around it, but I don't think you can get no, it through that door. I can't get it through that door. That's okay. Because you can't open the door. And just shoot this guy. Or can you pull it? No, you can't pull it. You can only push things, right? He gets angry when you shoot I him. I know. <laughs> he starts attacking. Oh, yeah, you can move back. That's true. Mangled mass. Not that hard to do. No. As long as you have room, I guess. So let's read about the hoverbot, which you just killed. One of, uh, obviously one of the main goals is to destroy all robots, but first it probably helps to learn a little bit about them. Hoverbot, this is the most docile of the robots, as it will generally not attack you unless you attack it first. Well, this is at least the case. Ugh. Run, run! I'm trying to lay a bomb. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Get away from me. Lay a bomb. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Nope. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Nope. No. You really do have to time it. Yeah. Oh, you're almost dead. Heal yourself really quick. <sighs> there we go. Is it select? No. Uh, start and select. Yeah. I don't know if I killed him. Nope, still there! God damn it. It's very, very pervasive. <laughs> um, hmm. Is there a window? No, I've done it before. It's exactly how I got him last time, was I eventually... There's a bomb? Yeah. Oh, there's a window there. It goes right over the bomb. Yeah, it does. It's all about the timing. There we go, Death. finally. Yeah, you could do it from oh, the outside. Oh, that's easy enough. Heal yourself. Easy. Heal thyself. There you go. 41 left. Ah, much better. Fortunately, she was only mostly dead. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> like one not pixel yet. left. Oh, trap him with the chairs and use the plasma from you a distance. You can do that too. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't want to use up my plasma. Plasma though. Yeah, only got sixteen. Yeah. But that's what it's there for. It, the plasma gun is kind of for those guys yeah. because it's useless on the other guys and a waste on the other. Um, There's nothing here. That's, that's as best, best to leave them alone <laughs> until you're ready to attack them. And when you're ready, you should have a, t a strategy formed as to do so without attacking them attacking you back. When playing in hard mode, hover bo bots attack automatically. Oh boy, that is hard mode. Yeah. Hover bots can only attack at close range. They attack with electric shock that will cause one point of damage every time you're shocked. However, this can add up quickly, especially if there are m multiple hover bots attacking you. Hover bot has health of 10 points, thus it takes 10 shots from the pistol, or one large explosion to kill it. A uh, medical kit can be used to heal your injuries. When you use it, you will heal... Yeah, there's a uh, Magnet. Uh, the magnet is uh, deployed much like the time bomb. However, you need to position it somewhere you expect a robot to roll over it. If you're in direct contact with a robot, you can also place it directly on the robot. Once attached, it will cause the brain to go haywire, and they will move in ra 
random directions for about 15 seconds. During this time, they are vulnerable to attack. Although they can be unpredictable and thus hard to know where to shoot. If you placed a magnet in the wrong place, you can simply walk over and pick it up again. Mm. If you leave the magnet on the ground for too long, it'll disappear. You can only deploy one magnet at a time, as in there can only be one magnet on the floor at a time. But several can be in use at the same time. The magnet is probably the most powerful tool available to you when used correctly. However, there aren't very many located on each map. Pro tip. A robot will shake off the magnet in about 15 seconds. But if you get them with another magnet while they're already incapacitated, they will never recover. Oh. Or plain remain haywire indefinitely. So two magnets we'll will disable the bot. Yeah. That's good for the tough robots. See, the map screen is nice to know where a roller bot is close by so you can gauge when to lay a bomb or when to sneak by. That's true. Oh, oh you did get yay! that lucky. Oh, the chair's gone, too. Very nice. Blew up the chair. <laughs> I think the only thing that's left now is the, um... Let me look. The bad guy. This guy at the end. How did I get him last? Did I get him last time? Oh. oh, there's one at the top. One at the top. And then there's me at the bottom. So Maybe I can do the, the one at the top and then, uh... I'm sure the transporter is right there, isn't it? Yeah, well, the trash compactor is. So. No, no, the transporter is there, too. Yeah. There's three transporters. So, yeah, leave that to last. Key cards. You will notice some doors are locked, and a symbol will be displayed next to the door. You've got all three yeah, <laughs> key cards, such as a heart, spade, or star. You will need to find the appropriate key card to open these doors. If you have the key card, it will appear under the right side under the s of the screen called keys. Of course, they use symbols that are available in the uh, Petsky library of mm -hmm. characters. So this is a fence. Is it a hoverbot? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, that's easy then. Just shoot him down the fence. Is he there? I haven't seen him yet. Oh, you're using the strong gun. Are you just gonna shoot one? <gasps> oh! Wow. Well, that works. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Only took no, one. No, I didn't mean to have, so have that switched. There we go. All right. It was effective, though. It was very effective. So we've got all the key cards. Oh, did I get him more last time, or did I skip it? I thought I did get him, but I'm trying to remember how I did it. Well, let's take a look at what's going on in that area. have to go back area. to the video. <laughs> <laughs> Because I remember getting him and it was quite easy and I thought about it. What did I do? I EMP'd it and then left, dropped a bomb? Is that what I did? Do you have an EMP? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Or nope. maybe I hit him with a plasma gun. I don't know. That takes six shots. That's the EMP, right? I would do an EMP and Get then like ten of them. plasma. So how did I do it? Now can you do an EMP from there? I would hope so. Within your viewable area. Yeah. I would get to the door, though. No, so the door will in. open. Oh, get close to the door, then. Don't get rid of it. There? Uh, one more. There. Okay. Then EMP, and then go in and shoot, 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 and change your gun. Should I shoot him, or should I bomb him? Uh, bl you'll have to use six bombs. Oh, really? Yeah, so, no. I would definitely I change your which one it is. I always mess that up. Um... Choo 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 choo. Oh my god. I gotta get out. The game. Oh, my. robots have won. You're way too close to him, I, I guess. didn't I didn't know it was oh, I forgot right. it was gonna explode oh, the whole no. area. I killed myself. But that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, don't use the plasma in close quarters. Oh yeah. Splash, splash damage. <laughs> too late for that. Yeah, warning. I was too close. How did I do him last time? So we're gonna use alternate controls this time. Are we? You can hold that. I'll play the next level. Oh. Did I just shoot him? Or did I lead him out? I can't remember what I did. That's so funny. It's possible. Oh, what does I... You have to set up some objects to make it so it can only go towards it. Open the door. Use the EMP just as he gets close to you. Then move into the other room above the compactor and he will go into it. Oh. But that's not what I did last time. I think I literally did what I just did, which was launch the EMP and then I think I shot him. But I think I wasn't From so distance. close. I'm trying to remember now. Did I pass level one? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, you probably did. You had a bunch of time. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the alternate input methods. Mm. It's the keyboard, uh, use med kit, shoot up, shoot left. Oh, I don't think I like this. 
I've never really tried dual joysticks. Oh, there's a spelling mistake in the manual. Hmm? That's funny. Shoop, shoop right. <laughs> shoop, shoop. Somebody's been listening to too much... Uh, TLC. TLC, is yeah. that it? <laughs> no, yeah. it's not TLC. Isn't it? It's... Uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. <laughs> when they were writing this manual. Funny. Um, I think I'm going to use the standard input for this. Yeah. See how that goes? Yeah. Did you look up what how to control things? Um, I... Let's see. I was playing around with it very quickly. Yeah, I, I know. You know how to do it? Okay, so we're going to go to map two, because we pretty much saw map one. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying oh, to good night, nostalgic. Good night. Yeah, this, like, I look this up, and you have to move and shoot, like, mm. and it just seems too awkward, holding this in one hand, and... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's good for people who want to do that, but I don't, I don't think that's... You're also work. balancing that on your legs, so if you had, yeah. a, if you had a flat surface, it I would be easier. Yeah, a big joystick on yeah. a flat surface. Okay, so, I don't have anything, so... Yeah, you have to find, find the stuff first. So it's multiple clicks with the right button to do things. Yeah. First button is shoot. Um, okay, so let's start, uh, oh, can't get in there. Mm -mm. If I recall, there's a small room to the left yeah. that gets you the key to get inside. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to find that, but you also need to find a pistol somewhere, so yeah. that might be the room there. Hello, room. Can I try to move it? Ah, there we go. It's two but two right clicks, and then you press the direction. If you want to move something, there we go. If you want to move something, it's one. I can't move, that. move the chair. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Not you're where you're it blocking is. Blocking it. Now I've got the key card to go inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Open. Watch oh, out. you can get beside it. Oh, you can be beside it and it opens up. Or in front of it. Mm. Okay. Any bad robots in here? I'm sure there are. Ooh, nice. Yay, that's what you need. Okay. So you hold down the, the button and do shoot left and right. Mm -hmm. And three clicks is over on the menu. And I bet it's up and down to go between gun and item and left gotcha. and right to shoot it and yeah. button to go out. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, friendly robot. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you? Not that one. Hoverbots. No, not, not I unless didn't you know you could. Them. I thought if you touched them, they would get you. Not unless you're talking. EMP. Nice. Uh, that's what I use. I use the Star Raiders pad with it on my lap. One side, I don't have to look at it since I only use the bottom rows to do everything with the controller. The other hand to move. Oh, mm. okay. This first. Yeah, there. And then that. Yeah, normal controls are. Are these empty? Oops. Those are, but the one. I, I think they all are, but the one in the corner might not be. Stop it. What is happening? You can't move anything because you're blocking it. No, I'm trying to search. There's nothing there, they're empty, they're open. It's funny, it doesn't give me the option to, to pick to search an area if there's nothing to search. It just, like, searches no, yourself. No, nothing there. Yeah. The thing That's in the funny. corner, I'm not sure. There's a thing in the corner. Oh, okay. So you might have to move stuff. I can't remember if that's open. It looks open, but I'm not sure. No, stop it. It's a nothing. You have to kill them all, remember. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think I searched them. So, none of these things explode. And I only have an EMP. But I have ten of them. Well, if you move something in the doorway, he'll come towards you. You just need to block um, him. So you just need to pull yeah, something in front right. of him. It's pretty... That's By far, that's one of the easiest ways of killing them. Can you pull? No. No. No, you... Not that I can tell. So you can only 
move and then... Yeah. Which is a little, it takes a little bit of time, but... And then you can just shoot him. Shoot! Oh. <gasps> you activated your EMP. Twice. <gasps> oh no. Uh, I have to wait for that. Because I was holding it. So holding the button activates your item. Okay. Covered in kitties right now. There's a black one over here. There's a gray cat time bomb. to my left. Yay. Yay, time bombs. Can I move plants? Uh, uh, stop it. Oh, you're like activating your EMP. No, no, I didn't. I'm okay. Move or search plants. I have to move this chair all the way around. What do you mean? Because I can't move it across that. Oh, for that, that guy? Red tile. I think you can get him. There's some other means. Can you? Through a window? No. Well, just go in the room. He doesn't attack you. There might be something in the room. Oh, where is he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a huge room. Yeah. So. There's some chairs here. Oh, no, you can do it if you're not yeah. like, behind me. Have a chair. Not two. Trap him. Shoot him. He comes oh, after yeah, as you. soon as you shoot him, he, he, he's... He'll comes out, he comes after you. Nearby robots don't care about other robots. No, they? they're they're very indifferent to the plight of their robot brethren. <laughs> they're like, Like, ah, oh, he's dying. It's all good. It's fine. I'm okay. Apathetic. Completely apathetic. I'm pretty dumb too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know how to go around. I have no pathfinding abilities. They're they're not, you know. They're on a bud they made on a budget. Yeah, they're they're just following their, their strict protocols. Med kid, yay. You know, they're That's they're right. they they're they don't have complex AI learning. <laughs> no just said and I walk this way and then I walk that way. They didn't pay for the upgrade. They no, no one did. Let's face it, no one pays for the upgrade. <laughs> no, no. Just the yeah. basic robot. The only upgrade when they just completely stop supporting the software we have. What was the actual job or role of these bots yes! originally before they decided to... <laughs> It's true, they didn't yeah. even upgrade themselves. No. <laughs> They're they like, didn't need hey, it. I'm I'm fine the way I am. I I don't I don't need oh, an upgrade. Oh goodness! Look at all these things here. Look at these bad dudes. Yeah, no. that's clearly the what you have to do to murder that guy. Maybe There's you just so many. Move them in front of the door <laughs> and open the door, There's and he so just many. does he shoot? He shoots, right? Uh, no. He, he doesn't. No, he zaps you. The other guy shoots. So I wonder if you can move it all in front of the door and somehow trigger the door to open, but probably not. But then... Oh, because it creates a barrier. Yeah, you oh. can't get out. Maybe. It's but then you can't trigger explosion. the door. You can't... Oh, you could oh. blow it up on that side, but I don't know. No, I can't trigger the door. No. But I can run. <laughs> Colonists, hey, let's make an evil bot for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> A wild arm waving bot Ooh. of death. So I need to not do this yet. I need to make a... Oh, no, I can move right there. He can't get through the door if I go beside it. Beside the if door? If I go move up one, that opens the door, but it still blocks the door. Yeah, but Perfect. won't he kill you? Instantaneously? No. no, he has to touch me. Yeah, but then he but touched you from that me. side, right? No, he, he, there's no angles. Can, yeah, they, but can hit, they touch in... But if it explodes, you'll die. Yeah, but I'm going to shoot it from a distance. I'm going to open it, back off, he'll go through the door, the one spot. He'll stay there because he wants to kill me. Uh, I feel 
feel like there's a flaw in your plan. But you go ahead. There's no flaw. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know. But I want a big explosion. So I'm moving. Yeah, all you might as there. well. If you're gonna die, it might, <laughs> might as well be in a hey, fiery ball. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> if anything, this helps. It might because, as well be dramatic. Because <laughs> that means I can uh, shoot it from a very far distance. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How are you going to open the door? Yeah, exactly. I, I go beside it. Doors up. I already did this. Uh, yeah, Doors open uh, from... Uh, yeah, I'm going to we'll demonstrate it right now. See, this is in front of the door. Me <laughs> going through it. Yeah. Okay. This is beside the door. I can't go through oh, it. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Okay, all right. My plan is flawless. If he is stuck in the door, the only explosions that will kill him are the ones directly in front of him. Yeah, no, no, yeah. There's one right in front of him. There is one right in front of him. Okay. There we go. The walls of the door frame will protect him from the explosions, claims what? Ivory Tower Collection. How come this one's... Oh, it needs a key. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, it's ready. you know what? It's... You know, you got to test a few hypotheses. That'll kill you. That's an elevator. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He uh, takes more than one canister. Yeah. Well, well they'll all explode there. each other, right? I don't know. And they have a radius of five, so maybe I should move some of them a little bit closer, like the edge ones. Like, oh no, yeah. No, they're pretty close. Or you could try to make a I little, this one. make a little maze of them, so that they just trigger each other. I wonder if that would work. Probably oh yeah, not. they do. It says they do. Yeah. They trigger each other. Yeah. You just make a little maze. Hello. Who are you? I think I'm going to use one for you, actually. Do a little test here. Five, a radius of five, so you're gonna have to find a spot that won't kill you. Oh, down probably. What, what are you doing? There? No, no, no. You just need to be five, five spaces away. Oh, I can do it from here. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. Ah! Ah! Uh, that, that failed. Now you shoot it. Mm. Shoot it from, from there. Shoot it. Is that big? Oh, because it's two down, two up, two up. Two I don't right. know. Just shoot it. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Just shoot it. Just shoot it. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, Kitty. He's so cute, this kitten. He's becoming cuter and cuter every day. He's yeah. so nice. He's such a nice kitty. Okay. Let's go. Have we done everything? No, nope. haven't searched this kitchen area. I can see how mapping out what to search is helpful. <laughs> yeah. Great music. Okay, up the elevator we go. You're not gonna try and kill kill that guy? I can't. I don't have the key yet. Oh, I see. Is this not an elevator? Oh, there we go. Five levels? Oh my god. Well, we'll go level two now. Or is this building the whole thing? I think the, this building... No, no, this is level two. No, I mean... Yeah, see? Oh, the building is the... Well, there's some, some box on the outside the building, but the building's a whole map. So. Yeah. If you play the levels enough, you do memorize where items are found. Yeah, you'll, you'll remember where things are. Maybe you do. <laughs> oh, well, I, I remembered where the key cards were and yeah. some of those things, yeah. Like, as you say, you play them. Yeah. Key card! Uh, I don't have the, the exact one that I need. Oh, I retire. This is how you do it. You make a small opening in front of the door minus one side like a box, then open it and have him come through and immediately use the EMP. Oh. And then he freezes, and then you shoot, and boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. That's an alternate one. I have it set up, so I don't need to use it. Well, no, the canisters might not train reaction. It says they do. Do they? Uh, In the manual, they do, unless Well, maybe I'll have to shoot them once, but the EMP probably makes sense, because if he would. touches you, you're immediately dead, so yes. the EMP is probably a good safety feature. Ah! Uh. You do have to kill them all, though. Oh, hello. Oh, there you go. That's helpful. Oh, yeah, I do have to kill them. Yeah, so it's it's uh, best to kill them in every room you're in. Oof. That's too long. Oh, no. Oof. He needs...
needs more than one, apparently. Maybe two? Three? Yeah, they'll, ch they'll chain react. Okay. So maybe that guy won't die from... You have bombs, too. The bombs... Oh, oh my now God. you need a med kit. Do you have a med kit? Yeah, I do. There you go. Two canisters will take him out. Ouch, says old style. Yeah. Yeah. He If he shoots it, it also goes off. So I, I think the bombs are... The time bombs are probably easier, but yeah. it's just hard to time them. You have to get them right. I'll be right back. Okay. He brought toys. He brought two toys. How do we do the time bomb in this? That's good. Where is he? Did I kill him? Killed himself? Where did he go? Okay. Search the small box. Oh, thank you. And now preoccupied with all the uh, all the robots and not searching anymore. Is it the card? No. But thank you. That's helpful. Okay. Can he jump over beds? Well, we'll find out. bot will take a lot of canisters though mm. so maybe I'll try and explode him and then shoot him at the same time mm. uh, you are correct about that it will take a lot of canisters but the canisters are there so I might as well use the canisters I guess it's kind of like you should kill the bots as you as encounter you go. them. Yeah. And search everything yeah. as you encounter. Search the small box as uh, yeah, I got revenge. It. Good. <laughs> I got it. Something good? Did you search no, the table? Nothing. No. Oh. No. I'll be a search the tables. Uh, single joystick controls are pretty good. Yeah, you're uh, used to it now. The double, yeah. double and triple buttons. Yeah. How about the SNES controller? I like the. I like the SNES. Shooting in any. At the select nice. and left and select and right after a while, wow. you're like, Ugh. it's, but, it's um, better when it's a, uh, uh, it's fixed. Like it's, I think it's less yes. cumbersome. Uh, it it, it is based on the scheme and the in the uh, yeah. manual. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is a little cumbersome, but it's playable. Yeah. I didn't have too much trouble with it, so. Nope. No, not this guy. Waste. Waste. These poor hoverbots. <laughs> what no did they ever do to uh, you? They just float around. It's my mission. Oh, hello. <laughs> my mission to kill all the bots. Sorry about that. I think I've got them all in this level. Oh, no, there's one over there. I was just about to check the map. Hello. <laughs> Oh, this will be fun. Let's run up this one. Oh, it might. It's gonna hit. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit the other canisters. That, that... And now you can't move that, so. Oh, you can move it! It just doesn't yeah. go away. Gotcha. Oh, we can use it to block that guy. Uh, it does go away? I can't remember. No, the canisters, no. I don't think. Oh, you can't go past the canister! Can hover over a deck chair, but can't go <laughs> no, over the broken dead canister. canister. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny. Good night, Carl G. Thank night, you Carl for joining. G. 
Oh, I locked out the gray cat. That is not allowed. Cats what must have full access. Full access to, to every room of the house. Especially rooms that shh, shh, shh. people are in. Does anyone want to play with a toy? Toys? Toys? That seems unlikely. Toys? Come here. Anyone? Anyone? So there is a room here. In case cats want to play on you the camera. I don't think they've ever played on camera. No, no, because they're waiting for treats the whole time. <laughs> they're way too distracted. Yeah. I think I've got them all on here. Press the power button. Where am I? Yep. On this floor? Yeah. You've cleared it. That's you. Oh, it's a long level. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. I accidentally said the word treats, and now he's crying. You what? Now you said it again. <laughs> Where's the elevator? There's a lot of pools in there this building. <laughs> On multiple floors. Yeah. Robots like uh, swimming. They apparently. <laughs> you would think electricity and water wouldn't go together, but they hover. They ah, true. They're all fine. Yeah. They're fine. Maybe they get a bit of an updraft from the cool water. It's treat time down. Oh, yum, 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 yum. what is oh! that? Oh. Who triggered that for you? Who's oh, it? thank you, old, old style. style. Are you guys, are you guys spoiled? I think you might be spoiled. I'm a spoiled cat. Yes, I'm a kitten who's spoiled. Okay, so are we gonna do a competition? Yes. Yeah? He's, oh. Oh, he says yes. Sprite says yes. I will kick his ass, he says. Okay, who's first? Hit the button, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Triple. Triple button. Atari, Atari, hit it. Atari. Sorry, there you go. Oh, smack it again. Oh. Keeping score, I'm playing. Two, zero. Try it again, Atari. You didn't quite hit it. Atari, hit, it, hit the bell. Atari, hit the bell. Hit the bell, Atari. Three, zero. <laughs> Three, Atari, zero. Hit the bell. Do it, baby. Oh. A little harder. Okay, I'm gonna. There, we'll, we'll just give you one. Oh, Three, one. I'm feeling bad for him. Referee interference. I know. Try again. Oh, four, one. I just gave him a one. Oh, he didn't deserve it, though. No, he did. He tried. <laughs> he tried. Five, one. Oh, six, two. Five, two. Oh, good. Catching up. Almost got it. Six Sprite two. almost got it. Shit, throw it on the opposite side. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it further away now. Okay, That's it. That's an make interference. Me, make me go under things. Seven, seven two. Oh, seven, seven three. Two. Participation trophy tree. I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, eight three. Guy. Oh, no. No. No, don't run away. Nine, four. I'm going to throw that further now, so you have to come back. <laughs> I need you to be on a plant. Oh, no. He's coming for you. There we go. Oh, nine, five. Oh, ten, five again. Winner, champion. Sprite kitten. <laughs> Sprite kitten. Yes, good kitten. What was it? Last the score? Nine five. Nine five. Nine five? Nine f no, Last sorry, ten. Ten five. Ten five. I think. My goodness, I'm not even keeping keeping track that well. Ring them bells! Too much catnip earlier or not enough catnip. <laughs> very true, very true. RC seventy, you just need eighteen more bits for, for treat time next time. <laughs> Here, I've got a couple for you, because I feel bad. Is that little kid oh, too fast? No. Don't show it. Don't show him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Poor little kittens. <laughs> Sucks to be the old cat in the house. Oh, so, <laughs> so slow. Aww. Good kitties. You gonna play with your toys? Kitty. Show what how you how you throw your toys up in the air? Yeah, throw them up. Throw them in the air. Hmm? No, they just want treats. <laughs> Too distracted. Yeah. They know game time means treat time. Yeah. Oh, They're app. searching for more hidden treats that got away right now. Searching, searching, mm -hmm. searching. Yep. That's exactly what they're doing. 
Psych the game. Is there a treat in here? We need an attack oh, of the uh, Petsky kitten cats or something. Petsky I don't know. Cats? Petsky cats. Pets cats. Pets I don't know. Cats? <laughs> and then they can just search around all the levels of the building and eat treats. And dodge vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Oh, oh, and I've I've some news that um, what? ZPH Zero Page Humber the game is going to be in the Atari Age store soon. <gasps> really? Yep. Oh wow, that's awesome. Don't know awesome. when, but I'll announce it properly. Very nice. Right. Oh, he can shoot me. Oops. Uh, so let's not do him yet. Hmm. 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 There's a chair there if you feel so inclined. Uh, it's you not could easy. no, you're gonna block yourself in though. Yeah. What am I gonna well, do? you could chase him out. I don't know. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Chase time. him around a corner. Is there something I can? What do I have? Oh, bomb. Oh, bomb. Yeah, that'll do it. You got lots of them actually. Oh. oh, it worked. Okay. Yay. No, I can't go through walls. Can I? No. It can doesn't go through look windows, like it. maybe? Don't know. that. Got the last. Oof. Almost got that. Uh. Okay, this last guy here, I think. my pear. Hmm? Drinking my pear drink. Pear cider, yeah. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the only alcohol I like. <laughs> Harvest like pear, pear cider, yeah. Or, or good apple cider. Or a good, super sweet apple cider. <laughs> <laughs> chair. This is a fun game. It oh my god, game. it's so much fun. So everyone's quiet out in the chat. Is anyone still there? Oh, <laughs> quite a few. Oh yeah, yeah. Excellent. Oh yeah, some people are still watching. It's late at <laughs> yes. night, but uh, it is late. they're still there. Have it, have it on the background. Or yeah, it's Doing all something good. else, doing some coding, doing some homework. Yeah. Playing along with us, maybe? Oh, yeah. Playing some pet ski? Well, maybe not this that's, version, that's but. That's difficult. Not too many people had an opportunity to get it. No, version. but there are other versions. So. Uh, yeah, that's true. There's lots of versions. There's lots of versions, lots of, versions of it. No, I think it mm -hmm. Okay, I think. It's the last guy here. Yep. Let's see what uh, options I have for that guy. I know there was. There's that, but it's so far away. Oh, is this the, just the shooting guy? Yep. Uh, just bomb What's him? around here? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bomb him. Ah! Ah! No, you have to be very careful. Damn it. There. It's, oh, oh it's God. shooting you through the window. It's difficult because with this control scheme, yeah. you have to hold down the button for a while. Oh. To place the bomb. Yeah, so you have to be very quick. This doesn't work. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. See? It's like damaging. Yeah. Well, now, now medkit. Oh, no, he's not dead. He needs to I need medkit to yourself. Him. Medkit yourself first. Yeah, I need to stun him. That was, that was yeah. dumb. No. You weren't close enough to him. What is that? You what? weren't close enough to him. Yeah, but I just... It. Oh. No, you weren't close enough to him. He was too far away from you. Okay. You like ran into him. You were still moving. There you go. Shoot him. What are you doing? No, get out of the way. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I should have switched. Now it's switched back. Uh... Don't. The plasma gun has a radius though. Oh, right. So that's exactly how I, I how I got killed. <laughs> so I would not use your plasma gun. Well, I can stand back. Plasma gun him from behind the, that if you really want to. Don't use them all up. 
Oh, it's so slow. Okay, I need to stun him. Yeah. Just and like then I need to him. just shoot him normally. Yes. Yeah. And switch your plasma gun out first. Yeah. Your regular one. There you go. This is where it, it's not so the good. SNES control yeah. is better because the way to access things is not easy here. Mm. He's gonna wake up before I. There we go. I can't wait for him to, wait for him to disappear. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, it's not oh, it's a table. Still don't have that key. It's probably on the top floor, isn't it? Could be. Did you search everything? Yeah. What's the, um... What are you doing? Uh, Map? Yeah. Be very careful. It it's select? pause. It's right beside power. Okay. There's a bunch. There's like four. Uh, you're in that room. There's two... An evil bot, I'm guessing, in the corner. Yeah. No, there's one right there. There's two right there. No, not an evil bot, though. No. I think there's an evil bot in the corner. Oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna use these. Careful. Yeah, if you shoot one of those, the whole thing is gonna go up, so that's gonna be a challenge. Hmm. And shoot him and, and, and lure him out. Uh, not till I take care of those guys. But these don't do much. These. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not great to use the canisters. No, I, I honestly don't think it is. <laughs> you can use it to block one of them, though. That's true. There you go. Okay. <sighs> yeah, you can't use them against the shooting guys because they just randomly explode them. So They do. Mm. kind of need to get rid of those first. You can... Uh, I think the bombs are best with them. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay. You can also avoid them really easily if you just run away. I have to kill them. Oh, you do, but there's an evil bot there. Hello. Do not open that. <laughs> uh, nope. So what's there's going on around here? Lots of chairs. There's a door down there. Ah. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. No. Yeah. There's some you canisters. can run away from the gun, the bullets, which I find kind of funny. Can you? Yeah. You fast enough? Yeah, you can. Maybe there's some health here. Yay, I knew it. I knew there's health. Okay, so how am I gonna kill those guys? Bomb them. Do you have bombs? Yeah, but they have to time it. Yeah, that's always a game, but. Really? Anything? No, just slightly off time uh... there. You have enough of them. Come on, do it. Nice. You, you have to hit them twice. Oh, okay. Chat message isn't appearing. Oh, and now it is. Oh, that's odd. Oh. As I was saying, in that room with all the canisters, dot, dot, dot. Oh, did you say something that might have set off? No, it would have told me if there was, like, something that it made the chat angry. <laughs> yeah, lure the evil bot in there. EMP, trap him, and use a time bomb to set off the can canisters. Oh, to kill him. smart. Yeah, yeah, and that makes sense. That makes sense. Probably easier said than done, though. Ah! Why is it not working? You you keep you keep triple triple buttoning it. It's very difficult. Yeah. And then you set it off. I've told so many of them. Oh my god. 
Oh, now they're synced up at least. Oh, that's something. Hey, bots, do your thing. Come on, come on! Not even close. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't see them, so... You're doing it way too fast. Come on! No. Not even close. I should wait till I see them? Or just... There you go. That was better. Oh my oh, god. Oh, you need your health. Oh my god. There you go. I do like that you just use as much as you need. Like, yes. It's definitely that is much a really better. good way of doing health. Die! Nice. Woo! Finally. Oh, okay. Let's relax by the stream for a second. Yeah! <laughs> Relax, uh, relax. Look at that nice flowing water. Okay, back to business. Uh, so lure him in here, do an EMP. Okay. He will chase you really quickly, though. Yep. I don't. I, you would have to lure him. Uh, that's gonna be really tricky because you have to lure him. Yep. And then EMP him. Yep. And then have enough space to get around him. Ooh, yeah. How am I gonna do that? So you're gonna have to move that thing. Um, the only place that's double wide is right at the entrance, so I don't know how you... I need to move these out Or the you, Yes, make a space. Well, you also have to kill the guy in the corner. Not that actually he'll immediately get killed anyway, so... Don't cry, little cat. Well, you can just move it into the corner. You don't have to move it all the way. Mm. That upper area? Yeah, I will. Next one. Yeah. This one's already on its way. Uh, by setting this off, it will kill that other Yeah, one. it will. So that's fine. Two in one. Okay, so let's, we've got the AMP. We're good. Um, then I just need to shoot one of them. I can shoot any of them. Just shoot anyway. from the entrance. Like if you can. Yeah. Shoot there is fine. If you can run over so he's in the middle and then you yeah. pee him and then run around him. Because if you touch him, you will die. If he blocks your way, you're dead. But he can't shoot. He can only touch. So. So the moment that door opens, you run. Is that? Yeah, run. It's coming. Make it? No, maybe not. We didn't make it through the door. He has to make it through the door. He is very stupid. Shoot it from there. Over here, stupid bot. Over no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll well, PM again. And use a bomb. You move those to the front door. And... Oh yes, you're done. I can move those right in front of you. No. Ooh, what did ah. you do that for? <laughs> no, I accidentally moved it. Okay, oh, I gotta no. get my my. Is yeah. he? No, I'm gonna EMP. Oh, I, I can't shoot. I don't think he's gonna kill him. You got two. Oh lord. Get in that, get in that door, get in that room, what are you doing? Ah! Oh, run, shit. run away! <laughs> no. Terrible, terrible! Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Get in the room, what are you doing? Get in the room. <laughs> heal, heal yourself. Heal yourself. There you go. It's very awkward, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 
can't can you open get the him door, to... though. Oh, no, you can't. If I stand beside it, I can open the door. Like here. And then I lure him down, and then... Then shoot. put it all three Actually, in a row. Actually, I can just do that. Get him in front of... Come on. Yeah. There. there. Okay, so now you could technically move that last one in front of him. Ooh, no. What three I can do down, is... and then one, two, three. They'll go off in succession and then shoot it. Yeah, but I can't shoot. I, I'll have to lay ball. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Really? Can you shoot him? You can shoot him. That's true. Can you shoot him from there? Yep. Or is he trapped in the door? Oh no, if the door closes on the bot, they're protected. Revenge. Can you move that one? What? Move that thing forward. Move the middle one forward. Yeah. Not that one. What are you doing? The middle one forward. So he one moves second. forward and then you can just shoot him with the plasma gun. Oh, you can't do that. No. Oh, that's but I can move this one and look. If you move that one forward, he's not going to attack you. Move the... Oh, move it up? Oh, no, he'll that. attack me immediately. Can you move that green thing to the middle? And then move it... And then move it to the middle. Then move that middle one. Oh, you can't. It's so annoying. You can't do that. You can't, you can't move them side to side, can you? No. Oh boy. How can I do anything to this guy? Like, he's literally protected. Yeah. Like, I can't even shoot him. You have to move, move, open a path for him and run. I can lay a bomb right there. True. Um, and will it hit him, though? How about I lay a bomb there? You can't run the around doors. and open the door. There's yeah. an opening from there. If I do here. I'll lay a bomb there? No. Lay a bomb just in his range. It'll but hit out of you. my range. It'll hit you. No. Won't it? If I put a bomb there, uh, uh, where I am, it goes one, two, it will get him. Bombs have five squares damage, it will hit you in the process. Right here, it won't hit me. I don't know if it hit him though. I don't know if it did, it should. It No, it doesn't go through walls. Yeah. Okay, how the hell do I do this then? No, I don't know if you can. Do I let him in? I need to set up the canister debris so he can go up on that room, have him enter and move yeah. quickly to the top. If you move that one... No, I was going to say... No. Put it back to where it was. So move that over. Right. Can you move that? Oh, if I'm... Yes. If I move that over... Stop it. One. <laughs> and then run down. That's challenging. I don't know if I'm to do that. Oh, we got Did it. Did it. Did it, though. Now I can set a bomb right yeah, here. Right in the corner. Thank you, Ivory Tower. That's... And just run out of the way. Finally. God. Phew. Is that the last guy in this level? Uh, nope. There's... Did the one in the corner die? One, oh, there's top and... Uh, and the one it, there didn't, didn't die. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. There's lots of debris there. That yeah. I can, there's even canisters left. Oh, yeah. I can just explode this whole area. Uh, oh, yeah, you can use the bomb. Definitely good. Come on. Like, how did he survive it? Still exploding. Oh, my goodness. Did he get you? Sometimes. Yep. It's just gone. <laughs> gone, completely gone. And then there's this guy who has... Oh, not yet. I think you have to search a box at the bottom of that before blowing them up. Too late. <laughs> there was a box there? I didn't even see a box there. Don't want to search this area. I don't think you have. Yippee! Well, hopefully it wasn't the key card that allows me out of this. Yeah. 
can you actually dis like wreck your game? Oh, a lot of games you can. By destroying something, you sort of. Pretty sure there's a box at the end of that path. I don't remember if there was, but probably was. It would be dead done now. You can't. The active the servers. We're going in the middle now. Some of that. Is that it? That is it for this level. Yes, you can make the game unwinnable, says oh, Revenge. No. Hopefully you didn't. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't. Where's the Did you search everything in that room? I don't know. Uh I'm almost certain I did. So I don't want to go through all these levels and search everything. Mm -hmm. No, 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 why? What are you doing? No? Oh, you don't see if there's anything you missed? No, I already looked. You, okay. Just looked like You're on the roof, two minutes ago. on the rooftop. Some chairs there. Ah! <laughs> okay. Nice. Hi, hi. <laughs> The search, the select. So are you sure you don't want to see what's on the level? It's all open. No. I'm using them too. Just one. Uh, you're, hurt. you're hurt. Oh, I am pretty hurt. Stop it. Is he hitting me? Yes. Oh, I didn't know he could sh shoot through that. Oh, okay, let's see. Fine. I'm just saying. So there's, there's one in the mi There's just two of them. Okay, so I already found the, yeah. the two. Yes, he can shoot over those boxes. <laughs> we yeah. figured that out. So we're going to use EMP. Shoot them both. <gasps> James. <laughs> I was on the wrong gun. Oh my god. I thought you were trying to use the plasma to get them faster. I wasn't. Oh no. Well, that was a good run, <laughs> we both died in the exact same way. In the same way. Plasmas are dangerous, man. <sighs> dangerous guns. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fun game though. Yep. Yep. I can see it being addictive and you just keep going back. Like once you've kind of figured out some of the tricks, you just start applying it, yeah. you know, to different situations. So very fun. Very, very fun. fun. And thus ends tonight's stream. Mm. <laughs> you could have been quick and used a few time bombs laid on top of each other to take them both out just then. Yeah. It's hard. It's I've, really hard with that with the control. controls to put anything down quickly. I find uh, the yes. it's easier with the other one. The SNES. Yeah, I should have switched over. Okay. Next time we'll okay. we'll use the SNES. Again, not with the keypad. Yeah, it'd be much faster. Yeah, yeah, the keypad controls are like you have access to everything. Mm -hmm. Like one button does it all. Use med, med kit, bomb, oh, yeah. EMP, magnet. It's just like hmm. You are mostly moving. Uh, again, if you're if you have a table or something and your controller is static, then that's yeah. easier. But it, otherwise, on, in your lap, that it's this not the easiest. This also has map on this. That's pretty good. Oh, it does have map. It doesn't have search though, which you don't have to do fast. No. And you don't have to do move. Well, you sometimes have to do move fast. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, I can see the keypad controller being really good. Yeah. If you can set up, if I could put that, the mm. joystick on a flat surface. Yeah. Not on my lap, but like uh, that uh, tray. Yeah, the tray that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. try that again. Yeah. yeah. So next time. Next time. Well, it'll be after dark next time. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> this gets relegated to after dark now. Well, there's a lot of levels. Yeah. <sighs> yes, there's lots and lots amazing of game. levels. Amazing game. Like, amazing game. Use your Brat controller as well with it. Okay. Well, great. Mm. That's that's definitely the way to go, I think. Yeah. Um, let's. I, I want to read what the um, SNES controller properly is supposed to do. Actually. Yeah. Instead of the Let's select see. start, select left trigger and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's too complicated. It, it does get a little confusing, but it's not too bad. Okay, direction pads, move your player, the ABXY, left button will activate search. That's yes. good. Um, the right is the move feature. Oh, okay. So it doesn't, that doesn't help. But the SNES plus, oh, can you do SNES plus keyboard? It just says... Proline plus keyboard, not SNES. Proline plus keyboard. How do you do the rest of the controls then? With SNES. You have a select and start button. So right now you're well, doing do select it. and left shoulder, select and right, oh, left and right and to switch between them. Oh no no no! We're use um, definitely use the the um, keypad then, or the yeah the keyboard. That's going to be... Yeah, so I don't know how they're going to change it for the SNES, because you do need those additional features. Yeah. You need to be able to select between your weapons. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're going to... F I don't know. We'll see. Doc bug, we fixed the manual. Oh, I see. So the documentation should have the controls as I was playing it. The controls aren't changing. Oh, the controls aren't changing? No. It's the doc... It's, it's the... yeah. Oh, Okay in the new revision the revision the game's fixed and also the mm. the manual is going to be changed too yeah okay. that's what it sounds like revenge doc buck yeah so i can't use the i'm gonna oh he did out. change the SNS control a bit yeah the controls are changing okay i mean it's not bad the way they are it just it just takes i just a bit want of... to see something yeah yeah go ahead it's an amazing game <laughs> Oh yes, it is amazing. But I agree. I think uh, having the tray with the controller on it will make it easier to control, oh, and then you yeah. can use the um, the number pad. What do they call it? Keyboard. Keyboard. Okay, let's go back to this. Uh, he added the ability to pull the map using the SNES controller. Oh, okay. That's yeah, good. Yeah, this disables. The keyboard controller. Hmm. That's really weird. Okay, because select and start was to drop the bomb. So now they they he's just remapped them a little bit. If that's for the map. Right. Cool. Um would that Oh the start start activates items and select and start brings up the map. Okay, that makes sense. That's good. Yes. Yeah, that's good. A single button is good for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, this could have been handy too. But no, because you have to use both hands for this. That's why a keyboard wouldn't work yeah. with this controller. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see, I see. Yeah. I mean, the option would be good. Yeah. <laughs> to just one button and you can do whatever you want. Okay, anyway, we're done. Yeah. So just the start button. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, I'm reading quickly as we're <laughs> That's fine. jumping around. Um, I like the better the one button for activating the items, though. I think oh, that's a better way to go. And the map you're not clicking on too has to be frequently, one, so the select and start makes sense. Has more. to be one button. So you queue up the thing you want to do, and yeah. then it's one button. That's that's really good. Actually, I think you can still press the start button to hold it. It will activate items on the older build. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I recall that does work. Uh, so awesome games today. Uh, Pac-Man uh, energy drink energy edition, drink edition <laughs> is a nice twist, especially with the energy drink. You can zap the ghosts. Yes. That's yes. really fun. And of course, Attack of the Petski Robots. Very nice. Super awesome strategy game. It's a hundred percent strategy game. Like, oh yeah. It does have action but, and shooting and shooting, but the action is kind of. 
it's way all, below strategy. It's, it's 100%. all figuring out the trick to yeah. to getting the robot, right? And I'm so. sure on as the levels go up, the strategy gets much harder. Like, mm -hmm. okay, now you have to do this. And like the first level is kind of laid out for you. And same, same with that second level. Mm -hmm. Here's a whole bunch of bombs. They're all in the place that you need them. Yeah. Or they're nearby. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as you go up the level, you have to like draw the robots over to an area that's mm -hmm. nowhere nearby. Yeah. Uh, really, really great game. 100% recommend you get this when it comes out in the Atari Age store. Um, so let's see what's coming up on the show. Um, what page? There we go. Make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Actually, that's great. I never used this view. Um, so play like Pac-Man, Attack of the Petsky Robots. Don't have anything planned for Friday yet. Ah, oh, but it's a Darcy day. Uh, it is a Darcy day. Is he coming or? Uh, as far as I know. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to be playing Orbital War in After Dark on Friday. It's part of the competition. Nice. Uh, where is it? It's somewhere over there. <laughs> Not accessible. Um, um, maybe we'll just do the Orbital War competition. We'll see what people uh, post in the forums yeah. for new games or yeah. anything catches my eye. Um, other than the annoyance that's in my eye right now. No, oh, no. <laughs> um, but next Tuesday... A week from now, mm -hmm. it's Vectrex Day. <gasps> so we're going to be playing some Vectrex games. Oh, that's exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. So we'll be having a Vectrex sitting there in the middle. A camera here. Nice. Pointed at the Vectrex. Yes. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm and so And we're going to be playing some cool. Vectrex homebrew for the first time on the show. That is exciting. Very exciting. Oh, I don't know if the cables reach. What for the for the Vectrex? Um, uh, from where to where? Uh, well, wherever the Vectrex sitting, yeah, which is going to be there. I think there makes the most sense. Handy. Yeah, the plugs for the Vectrex are very they're a little bit different. Yeah, um, I do have some aftermarket controllers which we'll probably be using, so they might be long enough. Genesis extension cables is what Hyper Tower. I don't know about that. But you for. have to shave them down, don't you? to get them to fit I've in, heard that they, too. I remember you saying that. they don't quite fit. Yes. yes. <laughs> Cut yeah. my cables on Genesis extensions. Maybe I will do that. Yeah. I do have some extra ones and I'll just uh. designate them Vectrex ones. So I do have this aftermarket yeah. um, controller, which we'll probably use. Oh, that's nice. I've never used it before. It looks like a nice ergonomic uh, design. Very. I've never seen a arcade joystick yet. Okay. Be oh, and I know why. It's because Vectrex is um, analog. Yeah. So it needs an analog um, controller inside of it. And there aren't any big analog controllers as far as I know. It's a little dusty. A little bit dusty. <laughs> I use a modified Genesis controller on my Vectrex. That's kind of um, nice. You may... Yeah, that's true. I can use regular controllers. I don't think I'll be playing any analog games, so mm. I might be able to use my digital adapters. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to put some time into that before the show happens. Uh, only two games that need analog, though. Pole Position and Hyper Chase. Mm. Yeah, we'll be playing aftermarket games, uh, or homebrew games, which I doubt many people make analog, analog. homebrew games. Yeah. yeah. Um, but all of Kristoff's games play great with the digital controller. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good, this good this stuff. is going to be good, though. This will work with all of them, right? Uh, yes, because yeah. this is um, analog. I'm, I'm excited about using that. That's that's a nice ergonomic kind of shape. It is. And it's got yeah. all four buttons, which I'm yeah. sure most of the homebrew games don't use all four. Probably yeah. uses one or maybe two. Uh, I guess your concern is just not long enough, but... Uh... Yeah. The other option mm. is to is I mean you can extend that, but yep. is to put it on uh, one of our tables. Oh, make it and, closer and, and bring it a little bit closer. It's just going to be the camera it's that you have on the it. The camera distance and the yeah. camera has to be like. Well, it could be here. <sighs> no, no. No, you don't. It has think to so? be on a tripod Up so it here? doesn't move. Down? No. No, that's a terrible angle. Well, you can um, tilt it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm making weird stuff up askew. now. <laughs> yeah. It'll be askew. It has to be kind of here. Yeah. Um, I have to use that, that tripod and just make it low. I'll, I'll work it out. That's stuff you won't even see. You can mount you it guys. here. 
Yeah, can get the mounting equipment. St <laughs> tape, just a bit of duct tape and. To to what? To this. To the camera? <laughs> no, I don't think you quite understand how, how heavy cameras are and how duct tape. I don't is know not. what camera you're using. I don't know if you're using one of the the webcams. That's or... true. If you shave down the ex Genesis extension cable, it does work for everything. Yeah. Um. Because it's just a little bit of edges. The corners, it's yeah. Just the corners, yeah. Well, it doesn't really show up on this very much. It does. This no. doesn't look shaved, right? No. Hmm. Anyway. Um. And uh, let's see more. Muddy Vision Secret Homebrew, Ooh. December sixteenth. That's our, plus, our present for the holidays. Yes. Plus. Live interview with Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster, nice. to introduce the game. That is our Christmas present. Mm -hmm. um, and then after the holidays, then we break for holidays for two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and then after the holidays, there is the ZPH interview um, by uh, my friend and um, co-worker, Giovanna. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be, uh, she'll be interviewing us about the show. Mm -hmm. And there's been a bunch of questions already um put into zero page homebrew club oh can't see any clubs yet it's too too zoomed in so if you go to the clubs and you go to zero page homebrew club 94 members excellent <laughs> uh you go to zero page homebrew interview on uh on zero page homebrew uh january 3rd 2023 uh just add your questions to nice. that list so cool. carl g revenge Litom, uh d train scrummy jason atari have already asked questions we won't Excellent. look at them right now no no we'll, we'll save, save them. it for the show yeah. um but if you have any questions about the show about us it doesn't have to be about the show it no. can be any aspect it can be about the cats it could be about the cats we, yeah we accept cat questions cat i'm not questions are sure great. they're going to respond to you but yeah th we'll have to speak for them yeah we'll <laughs> answer for them but yeah. that's okay they don't mind they they just as long as they get treats they're very very happy mm -hmm. um and let's go back to twitch stream there i think that's and of course, the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation, February mid to late. Mm -hmm. Don't know exactly when yet. I'll have to look at football games and stuff and make sure it doesn't coincide with any of that because <laughs> it does impact. People yes. be like, I got to watch the football on the other screen. And yeah. have you. And they, <laughs> yeah. We want your undivided attention. Yes. <laughs> I'll have to consult with some sports people. Yeah, yeah. See the schedules far yeah. ahead um so look out for the voting for that yes um coming in, in the new year yeah i think it's usually the first week of february is the voting mm. something around there the voting yes. voting's in february and then like a week or week and a half or two weeks after the voting starts and vote for a week mm -hmm. and then we uh, add it all up actually a computer adds it up we don't have to do it it's automatic well, computers are good for that they are very yeah. very good and then we announce the winners live. Yeah, give away trophies and it's always get a good them time. on the show. Always it's, a good time. It's lots of fun. And something oh, always goes wrong. So, so come, oh, yeah. come if for anything for that. <laughs> Hopefully, we try and minimize the things <laughs> we going do. wrong. We're getting better. We're getting yeah, better and better. Every the green year. screen for Atari H Day was awesome looking. Yeah. Oh, it's always a Saturday. Always a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, we always do it on a Saturday, yeah. so it won't interfere with Super Bowl. <laughs> Um, but it may interfere with some other nah. thing. So we just have to make sure. I'm sure there's some sports. We just have to pick not big sports <laughs> that the U.S. likes. <sighs> so no football. And baseball's pretty big know. if it's a big game or something. But I don't know if baseball's, baseball's as big. Basketball's up. pretty big for some people. Yeah. Uh, but that's like March Madness. That's, that's not. I don't know enough about the sports. Mm -mm. Yeah. I think it's just Super Bowl that we have to worry about. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so thanks for tuning in and sticking with us. Oh, actually, we didn't go that late. No. I thought we would go till 9 or 9.30. Well, we're close-ish to it's that, close so that's fine. Thank you, Dan, ABC, mm -hmm. S. Ramirez, Ivory Tower Collections. Yeah, lots of tips along the oh, way. Thank you, thank Ivory you Tower. thank you so much for all the tips. Chelsea Donny yeah. Mao, Chitlet La, Rendered Ghost, uh, Revenge for Making. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Attack of the Petsky Robots. Yeah. So good. Along with M.K. Smith, of course. Um, um, who else? Old Style for Feeding the Cats. Yes. Uh, of Treat Time. 
RC7E. Oh, who's that? Nostalgic. Uh, Vitoko. Yeah. And everybody else yes. who's still Woo! around. Thank you for joining shot. us. Thank you for watching. And uh, so we'll be back on uh, Friday with Darcy with, yes. I don't know, but at least uh, or Orbital War. We're going to be competing mm -hmm. in that. Maybe we'll just do that because mm -hmm. it might take a while. I'm going to read over the rules. It might be just the whole show. <laughs> Maybe. Yep, <laughs> it, it might happens. be a lot. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you for making it, Revenge. It's it's absolutely magnificent. Beautiful graphics, yes. gameplay, Love sound. the color scheme on the box. I think oh, I said this. Oh, my God. Uh, the purple and blue is really... I dig that a lot. I think yeah, that looks great, really good. Great colors. Yeah. Um, like I said, pick it up when mm -hmm. it's available, 100%. Mm -hmm. You will not regret it. Mm -hmm. I think it has something for everyone. People, It's an action game. It's a puzzle game. It has a lot of depth to it. It'll take a long time to work your way through it it's a puzzle game that requires timing and yes. i think that's that's distinguishes it from a flat out puzzle game you yes. have to have a little bit of skill with the controls to get those puzzles to work for you so if so, you're good yeah. with one with puzzles or action yeah. you can make it work yeah. yeah yeah uh so that's it for us for tonight and we'll see you friday yes. uh early day with darcy yeah. so uh, have a good evening yes. and have a good week we'll see you on friday bye everyone good night bye, -bye. good night <laughs>